Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein I was just throwing together a few mines because... Uh, well, because I need them, but also because... Once I get into that gear, I feel like it's easier to do a bunch of them at once. Uh, but currently we have a build to work on. And it's looking like the best way to go about this would be a sushi build. That's always fun. 32... wait, what? Oh. Hmm. Still. Well, let's see. 16 times 5. Uvim, Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are we live? Seems good, indeed. Uh, 16 times 5 is 80 items per second. Um, I could do a separate sushi belt for each column if I could fit it. Uh, but I think I miscalculated yesterday. We actually need more than half a belt for each resource if we're looking at the whole thing. Um, 32 times 5, 160 items per second. Hmm. I don't want to say I promised sushi, but... I sort of said we would probably do sushi. So if I can do 8 items per second for each resource, which would normally require 2.5 belts, um, just to separate the items without, uh, without doing anything fancy. Um, well, let's see what, what the sushi could potentially look like. So the trouble with sushi, well, the reason it has to be sushi, is it has to come back. I don't have any undergrounds in my editor inventory right now. There we go. Um, let's just put in... Let's say we do our outputs here. We could do, the, uh, we could do it closer together if we're willing to do a windy output belt. Um, there's plenty of room for that. Um, if you have a 3 by, it's just possible. And this is larger. But we'll see if we don't need that much room for now. Just keep it simple, keep it neat. Um, so our output is going to look like this, basically. What's our max rate? Less than one belt. Easy enough. So we'd have to have our input belts and then our output belt, uh, our recycle belts going back. Could I just copy paste this? There we go. And I'm thinking we could probably just bring it back up this way. How about this for the symmetry of it? And we'll potentially have our big container here. Um... So same thing here. And here. Let's see if we can make this happen. Um, since we've got five inputs, I probably want a big container. I probably want a big container just for the shape of it as well, so that we can control how much goes into it. Um... Maybe I need to move this down a little bit. I normally like to have the white area beacon exactly in the middle, but there's no rule that says it has to. 
uh, has to be there. Probably here-ish might be good because I need one, two, three tiles so that we can have belts controlling input to these. Uh, if the rate wasn't so high and there were only four item types, we could control it with uh, filter inserters very, very easily. We could just go set filters blacklist, and whenever there's enough of something in here, um, the inserter won't put in any more. But that is not looking feasible. Well, it isn't feasible. Um, there is another way I could do it that involves a little bit more circuitry, but I still don't want to do it that way. Speed reasons. Uh, so here we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. Maybe I should move that over a tile for the look of it. Or maybe this could just go here. That might be tidier. Um, and we need to have... Well, we could have some nice square connections like this. And I guess, once again, this one finds its way back over here. Um, that could definitely work. What's our max rate? Let me just double check again. It's 32 times 5 is 160 items per second. Okay. We need to have... Oh boy, I don't know if we're going to have room for the multiple sushi belt contraptions that we're going to need to control the throughput of the various resources here. Because we need one for each input belt this time. Probably. I know this comes up all the time, but could you use green belt? Uh, can't you make that yet? Uh, I can make it yet, it's just that it uses precious finite, um, Im imacite. Uh, and also I haven't set up the production chain for it yet, but that's probably not too difficult. It's only, it's 50% faster. Let's see. I don't think we'd even be able to reduce the number of belts we need with this. Um, 16 times 5 is 80. That's almost two blue belts. Yeah, it wouldn't actually change the number of belts that we need uh, for this particular build. Let me see what I can come up with for... Uh, for splitting this stuff. I haven't actually completely worked that out either. So basically we want... And just get rid of that. One stack only, please. Okay, so... Plastic, iron plate... Plastic... Oh, I guess I could have just done it this way. Plastic... Iron plate... And then... Copper plate, rare metals... They're all at the exact same ratio. Copper plate... Rare metals... Um, and how much do I want to allow? So, like, we've got a fifth of a belt each. So we're looking for eight items per second. Um, how about... A 
If I split it twice, it's going to be not enough. If I split it once... These two take... One side... Uh, Let me think about this. 11.5 plastic bars on one side of the belt. 11.5 iron plate on the other side. And then we can do these two, and then there isn't room for this. Because I can't actually get... Using splitters... Well, not without using a lot of splitters. I can't actually get one-fifth coming through. I can easily get half or a quarter... Um, like this is half, and I think if we just do this again, um, that'll become a quarter output. Well, that looks a little bit weird. Okay, I think it's settled down now. Is that still just a half output? Can't really tell. Okay, so that's a half output. That's a quarter output. And I think yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure that's still one quarter. It should be, because we're splitting it by 50% recycling, splitting it by 50% recycling. Oh, I didn't do the priority input over here. Well, there's your problem. Uh, and I could do a priority input here, but it doesn't seem to be necessary. Budgie bum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, fantastic. Um, I don't... Hmm. To get one-fifth... I'm not entirely sure I could do it uh, in any reasonable amount of time. It would take a lot of splitters. And... Well, unless... What if I mess with other belt speeds as well? Because 30 items per second is two-thirds of 45. Um, if we had Red Belt coming in... Would that mean... I mean, I'd need all of this to be Red Belt. And then maybe we can merge into... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, ideas are forming. So here we've got 30 items per second, uh, split to 50%. This is 15 items per second, so 7.5 on each side. Uh, and that's already slightly too low, because <laughs> we need 8 items per second for each resource. Hmm... Um, I don't suppose there's a way I can um, play with... That's going to be limited to 30 per second though, right? Right? 30 per second being split, it's going to be 7.5 each. Hmm... If I had more different speeds of belt I could play with, maybe. I don't think a faster splitter is going to help. Actually, 60 divided by what? Oh, maybe green belt will be the answer here. Uh, 60 per second. So half a belt is 30. And half of that is 15. As opposed to 45 over 4, 11.25. No, but the problem was... 
I need to go less than a quarter so that there's room for the other stuff. What if I split them all into quarters and then merge in... Okay, I'm, I'm curious about this, actually. Blue belt. Um, so this is already 11.25 per second of each of these. And if we could merge in 11.25 emosite uh, crystals per second equally, we'll start with a full belt because we're going to use both sides. Uh, raw emosite, no caps. Wait, is it raw emosite? Yeah, it is. No, it's emosite crystal. Emosite crystal. Um, so this is 45 items per second. This would be 22.5, and we need to split it once more. And prioritize input uh, from the recycled side. So that should be the same amount as each of these other resources individually. So then if we merge... Okay, so that's taking up the whole belt, but what if... How, how many is this again? 11.25 per second it should be, right? So if we subtract 40, uh, 11.25 from 45, uh, we've got 33.75 per second, and we're looking for 16.32 per second. We've got just enough with a little, little, little tiny bit of slack. So if we... I don't even think we have to do any extra splitters here. Um, if we merge this in with priority... That should be just a little bit more than enough of each resource to satisfy eight of these machines. But we need this much splitter stuff to make it happen. And I need to do that four times. Which uh, might be a little bit of a problem. Potentially. It can be done, but... Actually fitting it in, I don't see... I don't see how we're going to do this. So I guess we're just not going to go with the sushi belts. But then we need three input belts for these things, just because... What if I did a hybrid of... Um... Standard input and sushi. Um, if we had, say, copper and iron, just on half belts on long arm inserters, then we'd have three resources that we need to sushi split. Might have to pull all the splitters, put all the splitters in the second half of the block. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I'd rather have this half block available to double this, potentially. Um, I'll do iron and copper, just because I kind of like to put those together. And then plastic, rare metals, emosite crystal. Eight per second each. 24 per second in total. Slightly more than half a belt. 
which means I couldn't do one belt for all of these unless I did do the green belt. Then it would make a difference. Um, then I would just need one sushi splitter set up on each side. The thing is, if I'm doing this sushi, when I go and upgrade these modules, it's going to get unmanageable, probably. There's only one more tier of belt to upgrade to. And we've got six more tiers of modules. I mean, we'll probably end up going for fewer machines if we do that. Well, let's try it anyway, for the fun of it. Why not just do two belts, fast IO and long IO? If you can do sushi. Uh, yeah, I'm doing... I'm, I'm doing that. Uh, so we've got five inputs. I'm thinking about doing a hybrid where we have long arm belts for... Uh, two of the inputs. And we'll try and split the other three... Uh, equally. I don't suppose... no. Plastic... Rare metals, like so, and then emesite crystal, um, we're obviously going to do something like this, so this would be 11.25 uh, items per second each. And then we want 11.25. Well, you know what? Actually, I don't even need to, um... I don't even need to do a precise measurement for the crystals. All I have to do is input priority the stuff that we are doing um, a precise measurement of. And the crystals can fill out the rest. As long as we have enough of everything, it's fine, right? So that's actually pretty... pretty compact. Um, maybe like this? And we might put our return belt somewhere else, we'll see. So that right there, once I put in the long arms, how fast is 8 per s no, it's 1 per second per machine for each resource. Uh, and we're just going to delete all of this at the end for testing purposes. So what's our rate? I think it's like 10.5 per second on one side of the belt. That's totally fine. Uh, and yeah, that does look like it's working. Cool. Hybrid sushi slash regular belt system. It's one of those recipes, indeed. I mean, we are putting in twice as much crystal as everything else here, but that's fine, I guess. Evil Plug, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. Um, can we put it? Oh, how fast is this? I mean, this is all eight. Uh, 45 items per second, 8 times 3 is 24, 48 items per second. It's just barely, well, if we had perfect ratios, it would be just barely too slow with the blue belt. But since the input system for this is so compact, relatively, um, I'm thinking we could probably do it four times. Probably. Can I put this down here? And we'll have undergrounds 
coming up this way, or, or going down this way, rather. Um, that's obviously as close as it can get. So we'd need crystal. Down here. And that is a tight squeeze. I need to get half belts for two resources going into this. Hmm. How could I maybe reshape this a little bit? Maybe like this? That, that's not too bad. That might be doable. That's actually looking pretty tidy. Oh, where... Where am I going to do the copper and iron in the middle if I do this? Uh, we've got one tile we can expand out to the left. Uh, kind of one tile we can expand towards the middle. Kind of. It's going to mess up the way this one's lined up. I guess I could just move it over a tile. Except... I still don't know where I'm going to... Alright, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. I guess I could potentially move this down a tile if I really had to. Um, do we really need double belts going in like that? For each resource we only need 32 per second. So, no. But we would need belts going... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That might actually end up looking neater. How much container do we have here? 320, 320... Well, consider this empty. 320 plus 512, 800 something. 5 resources times 100. Um... That should probably be okay. Probably. And then move all of this across one. Move all of this left one. This one's going to have to change a bit. sure what I'm even looking at here. Let's just delete it. And start from scratch. So we don't get confused. Uh, looks like I do want all of this one tail to the left still, actually. What the...
Okay, so the trouble is... I don't see how I'm going to get the long arm belts. Unless... How much do we need here? Eight per second. For each resource. So 16 per second is less than half a belt. So maybe we do this? Actually. Easier than I thought it would be. Just gotta know what kind of creative to look for. I'm actually starting to really like this build. I like where this is going. It's gonna be one of the cooler builds. Uh, and we can put these anywhere. Like right here, for example. Well, not quite that close, because we need to... Uh, merge some half belts. Whoops. So, basically, just like that. Now, I kind of want to be able to see the sushi, if we're going to do the sushi. Alright, so this is... Uh, where is iron and copper going to come from? Up here, I guess. Assuming we have room. Which we do, if we retool this a little bit. We'll have to have plastic and raw, re uh, raw metals. Sorry, rare metals. <laughs> raw metals. Merge something like this. Maybe on the opposite side, because that'll fit more easily. Or will it? We need one, two, three outputs. Either way, probably. So that's crystals. And this will be iron and copper. Do some undergrounds for the basic inputs. Nothing fancy to see here. Uh, that's crystals. That's those ones. And then this goes here. Whoops. And I think that might just about be it, actually. Uh, so I need to do some test inputs. Before I do, I think I should actually just wire things up. As if we're getting it from the train, because... We'd have to do a complicated test input setup regardless. We're definitely doing long trains only to drop off here. I guess short trains wouldn't matter in this case. But I see no reason to use them. Um, what's our overall rate? It's like 32 per second per resource. That is most of a stack of Immersite Crystal. Everything else stacks to 100. Alright, so... 
I guess we don't actually need filters on these. So what's our max rate? 32 times 5. 160 items per second. Which is less than 4 belts. So I'll just do that for the look of it. And then... Come to think of it, if half of it comes from here and half of it comes from here, and we need four belts, then we should be able to keep up just like this, right? I think. That wire looks kind of weird. Okay, so here we're going to have plastic, iron... like to do them in the order they appear in the recipe. Copper. Uh, raw, I mean rare metals. And imacite crystal. Raw metals. And imacite crystal. And then... Uh, I just need to calculate, like, one-fifth of... Let's just give them a hundred stacks each. Uh, fifteen hundred. And... Hundred, hundred. Since we've got 512 stacks in here, that should be fine. It'll go over a little bit as well, that's okay. Uh, and then we just need to simulate getting it from the train. Which is a little tricky because we've got five different resources. Uh, actually, it's not that tricky. We'll just spam it to make sure there's always... Um, always a stack of each. Alright, so plastic, iron, copper, rare metals, and crystals, and then just spam those in there. Cool. Wait, are we bottlenecking the whole thing on one belt of crystal? Yes, we are, and that's fine. Yeah, we, we need less than one belt of input for each resource, so that'll be okay. Where are the return belts? Haven't done them yet. Uh, let me just check that this works before we do the return belts. And then... And then we'll wonder where the hell we're going to put them. How many do we actually need? Is another question. Hopefully only one, because... Well, I could make room for three at least, if I really need to. If I just push this forward a bit, we can underground belt back this way. Might be the way to go. In fact... For the sake of symmetry, that is probably the way to go. Um, and we'll just make sure we void all Void all of that for now.
all of that to reduce the number of belts that we need on each input side by one. Oh well, it's fine. In fact, it's better than fine. It looks cool. Uh, apparently we don't have crystals here. What? Okay, so we've got the four output belts for crystals. But we don't actually need it to be that fast, do we? 32 crystals per second. This is 45 crystals per second. So why isn't it getting saturated? Oh, because I'm voiding all of it. That would that would probably be why. We can't fully test it. Without some of the crystals coming back, unless we were to strictly balance uh, how much crystal goes in which direction. Alright, so we can put this here. And I think I would rather... Um... I think I would actually rather have it go up like this. That one pair of inserters troubles me. Oh well. Hmm. It's not going to be a very cozy spot for the... Oh, yes, there is. Move this down here. Move this over at least one tile. Do an underground. And that's it. And then this can go here. Everything back in. Makes me wonder if 12 stacks is not enough slack here. This one's going to need to merge in here as well. But let's just get this done first. It is clogged up now, indeed. Bilbo, Asandanima, Jackbez, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, that's, um, that's looking pretty good, actually. And I don't think it's going to matter if we do this. I could be wrong. Unfortunately, I can't see an elegant way to merge these. Oh, that, that's definitely a problem. Um... What if I put this over here? And how about this? And then we get to have a neater recycle as well. Oh no, it's going to block half of the belt on each side. Uh, okay. I guess we need to do it with a splitter. Unfortunately. I can't see a really tidy way to... merge both of these in that case. I guess we could at least go for something kind of symmetrical. Kind of. Uh, 
it's not moving at full speed because we're merging it into... We're merging a pair of belts into one belt. Is that actually a problem? It might be. Why does this have input priority? Oh, the input priority is on the wrong side. No, it just shouldn't have... No, it should have input priority, but this part shouldn't be backed up. And it's backed up because we're not moving the belt at full speed. Um, I hate to say it, but I th think we need more room to recycle stuff back in. Maybe I should recycle it back in up here. Um, that might actually not be the worst idea. I'll have to do a more complicated test input system. It acts as if trains are bringing stuff. Kind of. Can we fit this all the way up here? We can. Yeah, I could make it as simple as... as this. It'd be a lot more tidy as well. And on this side... Question is... Do we need to merge it back here, or... Probably? 320 stacks. Yeah, 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 I think we should always merge it back to... This one. To make sure there's room. Uh, I guess this one could just merge back in directly. We could we could merge half of them back in directly, at least. One, two, three. Almost all of them, actually. Yeah, we could we could put this back here. And then we only need the two belts from the middle to merge back in anywhere else. In fact, there's almost but not quite room to make it just merge straight back in here without any fuss. Um, I guess this is fine. Shouldn't actually need these two. Okay. Looks like our output is full. Oh, I didn't actually delete this. Carla Venix, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So is that actually working? believe so. I think we can see production stats on these things, yeah. If I go back to my main game, um... Oh, cool, it actually keeps them separate. Here I kind of feared slash assumed, well, not quite assumed, um... testing pack. Testing pack. Yeah, I kind of thought that the uh, editor extension surface uh, items produced would count towards the production stats for the main game, but it doesn't. It's separate. 
So we are getting... It's fluctuating a little bit. Uh, 540-ish per minute. Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. 600... Call it 620. Apparently this is supposed to be able to do 2.5k per minute? 42... Yeah, 2.5k. Where are we... Oh, I, I probably set the... No, that was only one minute. Yeah, 2.5k, there we go. Fantastic. That's That flat line right there has been our production for the last minute and a half almost. Kyung, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing great. Video only for now while I do boring stuff at work. Fair enough. Uh, let me just clean up this stuff on the floor. So we can kind of see what's happening at least. Thank you for your service. Test belts. Is that... That's not looking as even as I would have hoped. Well, as long as it works, I guess. That's bizarre, because this is totally saturated. This is looking perfectly even. But I see, like... Blocks of two or one... Um... Of each of these resources on each side of the belt. But as long as the ratios are correct, it doesn't really matter. How come your saves time is still short, although you have some planets covered 100%? Uh, I don't have that many planets yet. I've only been in this solar system. Uh, in fact, I think you can see from here, if we change the flags, zone has a generated surface. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, never mind, there's... Okay, so there's like 19 surfaces where we've got any generated surface at all, and that includes like Muir Orbit, where this is the entirety of it. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I think this is our build. I'm pretty happy with this, actually. I'm kind of surprised looking at these two belts that we did need more than one belt for the return trip uh, between all those other things. Alright, the other thing we need to do here is uh, calculate... Okay, we've got like... We don't really have 640 plus 512 stacks. We'll pretend we've only got 830-ish. Well, call it 800. Which is fine, because we need like 500 and change. Uh, let's see. 800 divided by 5, 160 stacks. That seems fine. Um, we'll request 150 stacks of each resource. It should avoid jamming. Programmer Jeff, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Plastic. Uh, 150, 100 is 15k. Iron, copper, rare metals. And cut it down by 50% for the Immersite Crystal. Because the stack size is smaller. So when we're down to 2.5k Immersite, Immersite Crystals, um, you know what? We go through all of these resources equally, so I kind of want uh, I kind of want all of them to be requested when we're down to the same amount. Although, bear in mind that it won't count the stuff that's on the belt, for instance. But we should be able to bump this up a little bit.
Wait, I think I miscalculated something. Wasn't it 15,000 was 150 stacks? So 12,500 would mean we're going to request when we're down to 2,500. Uh, but not for you. That's 2,500. Spare. So if we're going through 32 per second each, uh, it means we've got 78 seconds for a train to arrive once a request should be scheduled uh, before a resource will run out. That should be fine. Um, but since I made that extra space, I could bump it up a little bit for each of them, I believe. Another thousand, perhaps? So, let's see, we've got 135 stacks times 4, 540, and then 170 is 710. That leaves plenty of slack, and each of these resources will be requested when we're down to 3,500, um, which gives us plenty of time. Cool, cool, cool. Let me just put down the standard request a station. Uh, and we're going to name it based on what we're bringing here and what we're turning it into. MyClat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. And Ol Herland, good to see you again also. How's your stream today? Smokin' hot snacks? What? I got D Deep Space Science 1. Nice, nice. I already typed plastic. What am I doing here? We just finished pretty much making a sushi setup for material testing packs with advanced uh, assembly machines. Do you not like smoking hot snacks? I'm pretty sure everyone likes smoking hot snacks. Wh whom, whom among us uh, would not like some smoking hot snacks? Uh, yeah, so I've set it up so once we're down to 3.5k of any resource, um, we're going to request a train load. And this is my novel solution for cramming... Uh, instead of five half belts, uh, we're doing two half belts and a shared one for the other three resources. Ahamda, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, let me just... You know what? Let me just delete all of this. That's pretty much empty. We should be able to do some proper test inputs. I hope. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just gonna do... Wait, where are my inserters? Uh, limit each of these to, like... Well, we'll limit each of these to the amount that LTN is asking for. Um... to check that it probably wouldn't get overflowed. So 13.5k for all the stack size 100 things. And what was it? 8,500 for crystals. And we just have to change these symbols. And then rare metals. Okay. Uh, I guess I could just lazily do this. Uh, 
It's actually not quite working out the way I imagined. Wait, what? Oh, it's blacklist. No. Okay. Alright. I see how it is. Let's empty these out. I perhaps do it like this. Might be a little bit quicker. Alright, we should now see it stop at some kind of balance. Uh, how much have we got of each of these things? Eight point two K copper plate. Can't put any more copper plate in just yet though. It's gonna take a little while for this uh test input to saturate. Hmm. Particularly because the unfiltered uh, express loaders just pick arbitrary resources. So how much rare metal are we at? 9.5k out of 13.5? It's going to be a little tedious uh, waiting for this to catch up so we can test it properly, but I really don't want trains to be stuck trying to unload here. But I'm reasonably sure this works already. Let's set up our pickup station. Uh, short trains are permitted. S provide uh, stack threshold is 100. That should be fine. We're only getting 42. That's actually 4.2 stacks per second, though. Um, hmm, that's actually kind of tricky. So, uh, when it's low enough, I like to do, well, how long would it take to fill 40 stacks? Uh, like 10 seconds, less than 10 seconds. Yeah, our storage is going to get full very, very quickly if we do it this way. Um, uh, but how do I keep it balanced if I want to allow short trains? Maybe I just don't? When would I want to pick up testing packs with a short train? Is there anything in the mall that wants it, for example? I don't think so. And the stack size is so horrendous, I think I'd rather just summon a long train anyway. Yeah, alright. Let's not permit short trains here. Uh, and we'll use a splitter. And not limit this at all. Uh, it might be a little bit tidier if I just oh, how about this whoops uh, if I just bring this up here instead since we're going to get less than one belt Long trains only, provide, uh, provide stack threshold 100, no limit to storage, 50-50 uh, split, seems okay. 
Now, what's the hold up on this uh, actually working? The recycle belts are... Oh. Yeah, I think it has to wait until this stuff pours into here so that the recycle here has room. Shouldn't these ones be working then? Iron plate. It's waiting for iron plate to have room here. There is a little bit of iron plate coming through now. Oh, good timing. Cool. So what are we up to? 13, 13, 8.5. Uh, iron and copper. Well, we've got enough iron and copper to see it working. Cool. So it is working. Now we're just waiting for uh, for this to finish saturating to make sure that if we somehow got every train arriving at exactly the same time to get all the resources poured in, we wouldn't run out of space with our LTN requests. Seems good. That is filling up rather quickly. Of course it is. So what are we up to here? 7.6? What? The amount of crystals went down. Oh, oh I see why. Alright, let's give that a minute. Um, I'd really like to be building it right now, but should probably just give it a few to saturate properly and test properly before we build it. Um, how's our imasite doing that we're getting from Gibil? It's still working, it's just slow. Maybe I should just bump up How much is left? Millions? Yeah, let's just not limit this. Who cares if it gets a little bit imbalanced? And we'll allow multiple trains to queue up to come and get this. Oh, we're actually saturated here, never mind. I guess that was unnecessary. Hello. We've got... Uh, we've got saturation on crushed imosite. Let me just change this back. Crushed imosite is saturated. But there's none here. Oh, that's fine, imosite powder. Here we go, crushed imosite. Um, I also have it dropped off here. So that we can get it straight from the shuttle. Or the, the cargo rocket. Oh. That is a detail that I overlooked slash forgot. Because we're sending it as crushed imosite, we don't have any raw imosite on planet to make... Uh, no, the raw imosite only goes into crushed, doesn't it? Landfill, matter, matter, oh sorry, not matter, particle stream, matter, delivery can encapsule, crushed. Yeah, it doesn't matter that we're only getting it as crushed. So we've got, we've got all the immersium sulfide we need. We're actually short on nitric acid. That is not what I was expecting. I also wasn't expecting no prod modules over here. Let's go do something about that. Um, uh, construction train, off we go, do this before we forget, wait there indefinitely, uh, but what's the deal with nitric acid? We have no ammonia, we have no hydrogen, what? I was looking at excess hydrogen 
over here earlier. And we also have infinite hydrogen over here. So what did we break? Uh, let's see. Request threshold 160k. I do not see a request for hydrogen here. That would probably help. It might have literally just been a misclick when I was updating things. I don't know why the request threshold would be 160k though. Or was it supposed to be the amount that we're looking for? Hydrogen. That did not take long. We got two trains on the way with hydrogen. Uh, and one of them is picking up from the chlorine, which is higher priority. Because it comes out as a byproduct that we don't necessarily use. Okay. Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's get our prod modules into our furnaces. What? Oh, we can't prod module this. That's why. That's why. Okay. Napoleon Bonafart. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't think we really need speed modules here. Probably. We're, we've been bottlenecked on the actual resource. Uh, which is finite. And on mostly other planets. For a long time. That said, I could probably go and... Make another mine for this somewhere. That's only 92k. Uh, yeah, pickings are a bit slim on Hagen. Let's maybe just go with what's closest to the rail network that we've already got. Big ol' iron mine, though. This thing's empty. Let's uh let's take our construction train over there. And wait indefinitely. Okay. Probably don't actually want to get rid of all this straight rail. Keep it going down here. Should have brought the deconstruction train here first. The bots are going to get overly... Or the cargo wagons are going to get full, rather. Decon train never gets to decon. It, it has. Honest. Um, just make more room. Let's drive this thing forward manually. I, I'm always blown away by the acceleration on these things. What? Do not get run over by train. Am I in 
inventory is full as well. Have some rail back. Probably help if my robo ports were on. Alright. It has one job? That's true. I forgot to bring some power poles as I went. No big deal. Come back here, bots. Thank you. Might as well tap that iron while we're here, I suppose. Not that we've been having any trouble with iron. Aegon is a very iron-rich planet. Do we still have bots hovering? Uh, we do. Let's go build this and see if that fixes it. Product modules this time. Oh, my inventory. Uh, do I want to balance this? That'll do. Do I have a chest? Yes, I do. Except, you know what, just, just do it like this. Be fine. And limit this to five stacks, 50 stacks on each wagon. And just for the sake of it, we'll rename the station. Cool. Oh. coming back. Yes. Fantastic. Let's make sure we can path back here. We can. Back to the mall. I forgot to make that iron mine, didn't I? Easily, uh, easily done. Easy enough. Let's do a couple of stations this time. Should make it easy. That should have coverage. And that already has coverage, actually. And then over this way. And then... It's actually a little tricky to do remotely. Good. Might need a few more over here. Uh, and then we just need the rail to connect. Which is easy enough. Alright, where's our construction train? I just heard the sound, so I know it's ready to go again. Wait for inactivity. 
And I guess I could go and beacon it. We're gonna need some more substation pylons. Oh, sorry, substations, I guess, in this case. Did you tap that 4.1 million stone yesterday? Uh, I did not, actually. That's a good point. But first I want to do that build. Uh, let's, let's check on it real quick. This is still looking full? Hmm. Oh, because we're putting all of it in on this side. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. How much have we got? Almost the maximum. I think that'll probably be fine. See how quickly it fills up. Pretty quickly. Why is it all on one side of the belt, though? Uh, and that changes the moment that I say so. Why? Because we're finally putting these crystals through. I think that's the reason. Well, that seems pretty good. Let's blueprint. And we can easily double it if we want to. Material testing pack. Wait, did I finish the station there? Uh, not quite. Goes into advanced. Not advanced research server. Uh, advanced assembly machine outcomes testing pack. Cool. Wait, was that a provide threshold? It was a provide threshold, a provide stack threshold. Whoops. Request stack threshold 100. Pretty cool that we caught that before building it. is actually it this time. Material testing pack. Advanced assembly lab. Step two eighty six. Whoa. Eighty six twenty five one. Maybe I should include the level of modules that I'm working with uh, for these build descriptions. That seems fine. Looks like snap to grid works. Rotation works. Let's put it... Uh, what just happened? Uh-oh. There we go. Let's put it in components. And I definitely want this build very close to the space elevator on the left. Because the stack size is very small. Let's go build it, and let's check on our other builds while we're at it. Wait for inactivity. We built a mine. Oh, let me check on this one. Oh, there's still stone left. Well, here it is. Looks like our iron mine is working. It could probably use some... What is that? Oh, it's nothing. That's a light 
that light is part of the mining drill. I thought it was a... I thought it was an errant chain signal somehow. Uh, but yeah, that seems to be working. That seems to be working. Beautiful. Fantastic. Wunderbar. I'm still carrying way too many rail. Let's solve this problem. Might need to go back for more belt. Uh, definitely going to want to upgrade these power poles. Let me just remove all the old ones like so. And make sure we place all of our Avalon substations. Fantastic. What's your deal? Oh, you've got nowhere to go. Whoops. Uh, didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. Alright, did we actually finish building this in one trip? Uh, it looks like we did. Very, very nice. Here comes copper, here comes iron, here comes plastic. Uh, I'm kind of expecting imazite crystal to be a little bit late. Rare metals? I'm not sure. We fixed it relatively recently. Uh, they are being made, albeit slowly. I think this is the only place they're being made, so let's go give them a beacon. All in one trip hype, indeed. Maybe I should even double this. What's our rate? 21 rare metals per second doesn't sound like enough for the entire base. Probably. What do we get after we add a beacon? Negative 80%. Plus 10%. Uh, considering how much we need rare metals at the moment, maybe? Oh wow, that's a lot faster. <laughs> that's almost two blue belts. Yeah, that'll do. How's our power looking? Still pretty golden. So what's our power consumption? Half a megawatt for each of these. That does kind of add up a bit. I think I'd rather... 100 kilowatt each. Alright. So we're looking at almost a stack of rare metals per second. I think I will double it, yeah. Do we need any... It looks like I had the wisdom to not use power poles to transmit circuit wire here. I believe we can delete this, replace it with... New power poles. Uh, this is in the way a little bit, though. Inventory's full again. Looks like the rest have already been upgraded, mostly. Fantastic. Alright, and then we just copy-paste for the most part. Just like... this, I think? Uh, 
I might need construction trains help for the prog mods. And we're going to need drop off with all the same settings, but first That doesn't look like it's in a similar spot. I can't flip these if I copy paste, right? How about I delete them for a sec? Did the train already leave? Uh, how about I delete all of this, actually? And I'll do the copy-paste, but flip it. To do that, I'll need to... Remove all of these. There we go. What? Oh, I see. I think. Yes. That should all line up properly. Gonna need some crafting combinators. How many do I need? 32 and a 4 by container. Um, since we're doing more than one blue belt per second, I think I will do two output stations. Probably be easiest. On second thought, I could just make a bigger container here. But then, if we're going to double this, that's like, I think, more than three belts. The splitters would get complicated. I don't want to bother with that. Why don't we just have multiple output stations? Keep it simple. So 32... Well, I'm sure we've got them right here. Let's not handcraft. Just have to find them. Crafting combinators in this con container? I guess I'm not auto-crafting them. I guess it makes sense, considering how rarely we build them. Alright, and I think I think we can go ahead and set up this station now. Is it worth it to use the efficiency modules? I tend to only use speeds, although I'm only playing SE. Uh, well, you pay a lot less power if you use efficiency modules. That's the main thing. We're talking negative 80% power consumption as opposed to like plus a thousand percent. So you're going to spend a lot less time building power systems. And it's not that much of a difference in speed. Like, the efficiency modules give you a lot more efficiency than speed modules give you speed. This is plus 40 percent speed. This is minus a hundred percent efficiency. Uh, power consumption. And that's for plus 80% power as well. Some of these are not getting their recipe set. Why not? Oh, now they do. Yeah, it was just the 30-something second delay that I've got on crafting combinators. Oh. 
And I thought I had some recycling set up here. Oh, I see. Those are those chests are Yeah, no, I do. It comes back from here. If we end up with Falknite blocks or rare metals in the output. If it changes recipe, it'll output to these chests. How would negative 100% prod work? Like, eat resource but don't give product? I guess, yeah. Alright, that seems good. So, we can now do 129 rare metals per second. Uh, I don't think we're going to have too much trouble catching up. To the rare metal shortage. Rare metals and imasite crystals. Imasite crystals are being made. Uh, they're looking a little bit slow, to say the least. Although I was never really concerned about the speed of them until now. 16.6 .6 per second, though, considering that one build wants to eat uh, double that. We might want to speed up our crystals a bit. Let's go. Looks like uh, rough data storage substrates are failing to keep up still. Where'd that build go? Don't even need a wire here. Oh wait, I should actually. Actually, rough data sub straight. Here we go. Right click. Uh, it literally only goes upstairs, so this should actually be like a vanilla stop. It's actually quite a lot of rough data storage substrate build we've got for this stage. 31 per second. Alright. Let's copy this. I think we can literally just copy paste. Uh, I can't flip this, can I? How about... How about I just lay out where this is going to go first. And then... Copy, paste, flip this part. I think that's right. And then we should be able... to just copy, paste here. We should definitely be able to update our power poles. Don't need this anymore. Don't need this anymore. Uh, and then we just need to... Well, the sulfur output here is going to have to be moved a little bit. Why is this stopped? Because there's no more fine imosite powder. Just coincidence. Alright, we need a 4x container. And... How much of this sulfite do we need? 180 per second. I think that's fine. We'll just do it like this. And... How did that get doubled? Uh, 
I guess I'll do it this way. Is this the only use of this fluid, though? Uh, immersium sulfate. Uh, no, there's two uses for it. Can be used to make fine powder and nitrogen. I think we're already doing that somewhere. Yeah. That's the one that we couldn't prod mod. Wait, is that fine powder? And, oh, there's just a little bit missing. Oh, I see. This should be greater than 5k. So why are we not making more? It's still nitric acid. Are we playing catch up on nitric acid? I guess so. Let's go put some beacons over there. Um, and we'll get our construction train to pay this build a visit first. And then up to nitric acid in case I need you. Beacon time. I think we can go four speeds here. Negative 80%. Uh, negative 60% still. We'll probably go with that. Let's check the belt rate. Very, very slow. Everything's slow, actually. No need to worry about the shape of the inputs or outputs. So this is where mineral water goes, I completely forgot. And I think we need to increase the speed of this to keep up. Let's check. Al ammonia is plus 80, and we do need to put it in the rail network as well. That seems fine. Alright, so we've gone from... No, don't. Uh, we've gone from 119 nitric acid per second to 416. That's definitely an improvement. Let's get some new power poles while we're here. Little by little, we're getting rid of the old ones. Morphin time? Indeed. Did we get this built? Pretty much. Oh, now's the perfect opportunity. To get rid of that, uh, or to move that sulfur belt around. actually a short trip. So I think I'll just put another 2x2 two two here, and let's just double check our max rate. Uh, it's only 33 MSI crystals per second. So we should be able to...
Hmm. If I'd done full buys, this would be easy to make look elegant. I don't feel like changing them now. How much sulfur does this make? 16 per second? Sure. Bit of a roundabout trip for some of the sulfur, but that's fine. Alright, can we get this input back so we can make sure this is working? Fine emesite powder is missing nitric acid, which we just sped up. We've got 75k here, so why is it not being delivered? Did we break it here? No? Priority is yes. Yeah, we've got 85,000. Oh. Oh, 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 I see something we broke. Okay. Because of the new power poles. Did you set up sulfur filter on that loader? I did. That was what the copy-paste was for. Okay. Uh, we just need to tell LTN what we've got here, that's all. And to do that, I think in these cases, I would like to make my standard something like this. Just connect it like that. Why can't I... Oh, that's as far as the wire reaches? That's fine, I guess. Why is this one able to be closer? Oh, because it's on the same side. I don't hate this as much as putting in arbitrary power poles. Uh... Did we get our stuff? Yes. Nice quick load. Here comes our train. Don't need the insane priority on this anymore. And there's our powder. How quick is the powder? 180 per second. It's actually belt limited, pretty much. Um... I would have to build another one of these. How much powder is this looking for? 35 per second. I think this is probably fast enough for a while. Probably. I don't think I actually need four belts pushing from here to here, considering only half of it needs to go to the front. Oh well. Let's go back to base, and let's see how this build is looking. Still waiting on Emersite Crystal, no surprise there. But we will get to see what it looks like in terms of overfilling, which is looking very good actually. Very nice. Did we get those bots coming back? Yes. Beautiful. Alright, crystals. Give me crystals. Someone gonna come and get this uh, fine emesite powder, or what? We're looking for 16k... ...is 160 stacks. So that should still work. Oh, we've got some. I didn't even notice. Fantastic. Uh, and I should probably set up this side as well. 
That would probably help. Let's just fly over there. Did you set sulfur? F yes, yes, yes. Okay. Also, did we get any of these beams yet? We did. And I didn't... Oh. No, we're totally saturated. Those dark icons made it hard for me to spot. Oh, train's already on the way. Times three. Times four. <laughs> Fantastic. Look at him go. Beautiful. And we get some sulfur as well. And we're finally going to have this vanilla train get out of here. Um, how much? I'm guessing we probably don't have any emesite crystal in orbit, really. We've got just a little bit more than one train load, actually. So it's not as bad as I thought. But yeah, it'll take a few trips before we start putting stuff uh, on the ground level. There's no way I'm using this half of this block for anything other than more testing packs. So we'll leave that there. What's this? Core fragment processing. For copper. Beautiful. Nice to know we'll never actually run out of copper. I mean, technically we were already never actually going to run out of copper, but... It's rather slow. Uh, why is this actually stopped again? Because we're just not crushing cryonite powder fast enough? Hmm. I really don't want to, like, crush cryonite rods. Not just because it's a bit of a waste of heavy oil, but... Like, just because the stack size... It's actually stacks to 200. 1, 2, 3, 4 out of 50. So 8% of a stack. Makes... If we ignore the prod modules... One... Uh, half a percent of a stack. So it's actually... It would actually be worse... Uh, even with prod bonuses, I think. Brushing cryonite rods, even if we ignore the extra energy and material that would have to go into it. I'm seriously beginning to consider some dedicated blocks to crush things. Uh, and maybe crushing cryonite instead of the cryonite powder. Since the stack size... Or how much do we get? It's actually one to one. Unless we prod bonus it, which I'm not going to bother with yet. So crushing... Uh, granite powder... Would be just as slow... As crushing the granite itself, right? Except the stack size is worse. Russia... Um, how about this? Fry your night. Powder. Fry your night itself. Yeah, they both get crushed at the exact same speed. So, until we're using prod modules for cryonite, um, there'd be no benefit to crushing one over the other. 
Maybe put some crushes in the powder build itself. Uh, or the core build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... They're too slow and they're too big is the problem. I might seriously have to consider some dedicated blocks for crushing. <laughs> as silly as that sounds. Because otherwise we're just not getting... The free sand, free vanilla core fragments, free everything else. Uh, and I do mean a lot of stuff, even if it's slow. Out of uh, granite core fragments. What does Logi 5 do? Uh, purple belts. Strongest belts in the game, apart from deep space. We can only use them on the ground, though. Um, just like the green ones, they cost more imasite. We also need some heavy bearings. But they are very, very fast. Uh, 90 per second, as a matter of fact. It's a double blue belt. Alright, what should we do next? I'll just have to trust that we'll get... You know what? Why don't I set up a notification? I might not notice it if I'm on another surface, but we can try. Because I don't want to have to remember to check on this build. Just gonna go green wire if yellow is greater than zero. I don't think we necessarily need an alarm. Something I'm gonna notice though. Seems positive. Uh, if yellow signal greater than zero, output game one sound, global playback, testing pack, testing pack, build testing. Don't think we have to worry about that unless it's talking about with other speakers. Pink pajamas. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Philip, if I didn't say so, I think I did, but welcome, welcome also. Let's move forward with our uh, space science builds. Except we were doing that. The reason we're caught up on all this is because we want to see testing packs. Uh, and then we should have... Uh, we should have energy catalog too. Actually, just make that manual. Then park yourself over here. I think you've got enough rail to make it happen. Wait for inactivity. Fantastic. Uh, should we start on material science in the rail network? That might be a good idea. I think the only ones here... Oh, this doesn't have super cold. I never asked for the super cold. There's a problem. And it's coming. Fantastic. So we should get subatomic data. We're just going to be short atomic data. 
I think. And we've got every other type of data to some degree. Up to and including catalog two. We're still short on blanks, I'm not shocked by that. Totally saturated on radiation data. That's just good. Yeah, all of these are looking okay. Did we ever make any... Nope, because we need broad catalogs, that's why. Because it's more efficient than just using energy catalogs. Cool, cool. I suppose I could work on the actual energy 2 uh, build itself. Where even is it? What? Okay, spaghetti. Uh, I don't think I've done SIG data yet. Obviously, SIG data builds are going to change. Uh, I haven't done Energy Science 1 either. Should probably put the two of these together. I think. No doubt. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What, uh, what's holding up with the blank cards? Well, for one thing, I did notice uh, rough data storage substrates. Um, I saw that the vanilla train was sitting here waiting to be filled up, which tells me that it's not saturated up in space. Um, so I believe it's going to be bottlenecked on those. Here they come now. Yep, it's not currently producing because there's no rough data. Good timing. So theoretically, the machines can do 15 blanks per second, but uh, in reality... Let's see, this is one-to-one, -one, right? Yes. So... We need four... Four rough data storage substrates per blank. And it looks like the inputs are always saturated for this. I could make another build. But we're getting... 31, only 31.6. Uh, so we could do almost eight blank data cards per second. Huh. If I double this build, then our blanks here... Are going to be completely uh, satisfied. I would love to put another rough data storage substrate build right here. We've got 470,000 iron to mine before that happens though. I guess I could put one here. Why not? Also, I should connect these... Um, these rails already. Whoops. Let's get our... Let's get our new rough data storage substrate build here. Actually, that might have been updated. So I'll just put in... one of these. Add some um, new power poles. Copy paste all of this. Grab our construction train. Uh, I might get it to visit this spot here first. Wait for inactivity. And then come up here. Wait for inactivity. And then, just in case it didn't all get built, uh, we'll go resupply and then do it again. Fantastic. It's more constrained by input, so not really an issue now. Yeah. It feels better to be constrained by the actual machine bottlenecks than resource shortages, that's for sure. 
It's much more consistent and reliable. What is going on here? Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Also, that station name is dead wrong. Let's go fix it. I was going to fix it remotely, but there's a couple of things here that are a little bit fiddly. So first of all, this should be called... Well, let's let's finish having our trains arrive here first, otherwise they'll get confused. This one should not be requesting fluid. Once all of the trains have finished coming here, I'll change the station names. Good to know we weren't that bottlenecked on resources. Or the build speed of this, for that matter, but we already knew that. Fantastic. It's emptying slower than I thought it would, but it doesn't matter. This only consumes 180 per second. Well, maybe 180 per second is fast enough that I should have two fluid drop-offs. Maybe it would just be easier. No, that's fine. Um, alright, so we no longer have... Where are you going? Oh, you're actually dropping off to the station that legitimately has this station name. Okay. And that goes for several... Okay, okay, we're just gonna... We're just gonna change the station name. I'm pretty sure none of them were trying to come here. So we are requesting... Uh, powder... Silicon, I think it is. And immersium sulfide goes into chemical plant and out comes uh, imosite crystal. There we go. Fantastic. Yeah, this recipe is very slow. 30 seconds. Uh, we are at crafting speed 1.4. Maybe I should go a little faster in this case. It's plus 30% power consumption. We only gain a little bit of... No, 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 that's not, that's not a good trade-off. Should just build another one if I really want more. Alright, cool. So, 160, well, 100 stacks of this... Uh, is going to take... 1,500 seconds? No, it's not. Uh, 150 seconds. Or two and a half minutes. One train load. I'm sure that'll be fine. Why not just double the build? I could do that. But I don't think we actually need that much overall. Uh, I think it's just been that we had a resource shortage and then we 
break it at some point. Where's our construction train? Didn't I tell you to come here twice? To get this done? Oh, it's over full somehow? Even though... I think I see what happened here. The bots had to wait to come back to the train, so then they put coal and stone in it after it was supposed to already be empty. I wish I could somehow detect if bots were still crawling back to the train here. Like, now. So that it, I could get it to wait here until the bots came back. The only other option would be a ridiculously long wait time. Can I turn this... No, never mind. If I turn it off, I think it stops telling the system how much is in the train. Almost there. I doubt we ever need 50 flare stacks. Maybe I should stop carrying them just for how long it takes to load. Second wagon has two extra bots. Make it three. Assuming it can fit, which it can't. Yeah. Oh well, it's a short trip. should actually get itself sorted out this time. Where am I standing? You know what? For how long... Uh, for how slow the crystals are, I should really use the delivery cannon setup for this one. Let's get this built first, though. I just want to make sure the prod modules are in place before before we power it up. I'm going to go ahead and guess that we've got a similar issue with this build. Yeah, 31 per second. I should definitely... Um, I should definitely be using... Okay, don't take that. Where's my delivery cannon chest? So we're just going to limit that to 50 stacks each. Ride stack threshold 100. I guess technically that could summon... Oh, I forgot. Uh, we don't even need any LTN trains for this because the only place it's going is up the elevator. That's the other thing I wanted to change. Just make this visible. Okay. Uh, I need some vanilla train stops. I need the station name from this one. I do realize I'm going to have to make another... Oh no. Oh no. Oh, the calamity. Uh, we're gonna have to set train limits like we were doing before. If we're gonna do it this way. 
because the vanilla train will always just go to the closest one. Uh, and if I had two of them, they would probably both just queue up at the closest one. Oh, whoops. Um, how full are you? Uh, wait, wait, halt, halt and see. Not very. Uh, could you come back over here, please? Th thank you. Alright, so I want to change the shape of this. Limit these to 50 stacks each. There we go. And that should be a bit better for filling out the two wagons equally. Uh, that said... It's even distro. There we go. Also, I just realized we're bottlenecking on the belt. So we never actually had 31.6, we had 30 per second. That is... Merging to a pair of red belts, that should be fine. Why don't I have blue belt? Oh no. Uh, regardless, this should be all functional now. Still one train out of fuel? That's on Nalvis. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. It's fine. That said, I wonder if I have the kind of military tech where I should go play on Nalvis for a while. And then we can set up uh, vanilla core fragments that don't depend on any other core fragments flowing. That's got to be worth some effort. Yeah, I think we're getting close to the point where it's time to go back to Nalvis. Why do I have multi-spectral mirrors here? Get out. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I needed some blue belt to update this build properly. It's only like, well, it's about 10% and change of the speed that we were bottlenecking on because of that belt. Uh, so that needs to be blue. And through the magic of vanilla trains that, oh wait, I almost forgot. Uh, we will need to have a decider for this one. Now that we've got more than one station. So if rough data storage substrates uh, let's say greater than 100, 100 output rough, and set train limit rough. Seems good. So now this will be an exception to the rule for how we have the vanilla train set up. This one will wait at the depot until one of these has 10k. I didn't see this actually working yet. I need more prods. They're right over here. May as well grab them myself. Maybe not that many. Uh, am I going to need some more belt? Where on earth will we get more belt? 
I might set this to empty cargo inventory 60 seconds of in, uh, inactivity. Most of the time, I'm not going to notice if the train's sitting there for a minute. And it should help seven times out of ten with the bots slowly floating back. We need silicon. Are we short on silicon? Oh no. We're looking for 8k. That is more than 100 stacks. Uh, it's possible we're now bottlenecked on silicon. We just keep moving the bottleneck back. One more build and we'll double our blank data cards, we said. Alright. We do have old beacons there. Under silicon. So what's our rate currently? Oh, actually, I can just look at the other build to compare it. Oh, these are on prod 2s as well. Let's remedy that. What are these called? Filtration plant. Uh, here it is. Prod 2s, I mean prod 3s. And electric furnace. And autosave timing. Bruh. There we go. Gonna need some more prods. Ten seconds ago I said I don't need to carry this many. Silicon sandstone, let's just go all the way back to Nalvis, indeed. Those Nalvis uh, vanilla core fragments are looking more and more attractive, I have to say. Okay. Looks like this build's ready to go. Oh, I forgot to get the prods. I also want to drop off these tier 2 modules. Just give me all I can carry. What's all this? Concrete and stuff? Let's grab our concrete train and park it over here for a minute. Uh, actually make it 30 seconds of inactivity, because the bots have a tendency to wait a lot longer to receive orders to do floor tiles. Something breaking on Nalvis again? Yep. 25 entities are being damaged. It is, of course, medias. Okay. That's looking good. Oh. Um, Beacon 2 is going to be a bit awkward on the right side. We need to update our power poles. The power poles are not being used for any information wires, are they? Doesn't seem like it. That should be 5,000. Does silicon go up the space elevator? I think it does. Yeah. So if we have multiple pickups for it, we should definitely have the 
decider combinators. Okay. Uh, looks like we can get rid of the old power poles. Except this one will have to be in a slightly unusual spot. Forget what silicon is made of. Uh, quartz and literally just quartz apparently. In this game anyway. Alright, let's get some speed and efficiency. Negative 80% power. Minus 50. 250 kilowatts each. Depends on the ratio. These also only have two prods. It is minus 50. Yes. Uh, okay, so we're looking at more than a blue belt of silicon now. What's the ratio looking like? Uh, still very positive on quartz. Should I add some more? I can't really. I guess I could add them over here, but if I doubled this, we'd be looking at 112 versus... Wait, what? Uh, no, we'd be looking at almost 200 quartz per second. I think this is probably fine. We do need quartz specifically for some things. Oh, let's copy paste that. And head over to the other quartz build. Remove the old power poles. Paste this in here. And bear in mind that the wires connecting to the bulk rail loaders are going to need some help. Oh, and get rid of the old beacons. And update the tier 2 prods. Oh, it's happening. I don't suppose that'll stop it. Apparently it does. Hold on. How... What? N Nani? Hold on, what, 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 what? We have zero products... Oh, here it is. Yeah, never mind. That was the train for the quartz, uh, Immersite crystal, sorry. As expected. Uh, but yeah, that seems to be working just fine. And very neat, tidy, and cool, even if I do say so myself. Except for this bit, but it can't be helped. That is some rather quick material testing perks. Did I already do a train for this? I don't believe I did. Um, should probably store material testing packs nice and close to this build. Seems like a good idea. We can always add other storages for them as well, if we really want to. Testing pack is going to go here. And that 
should be everything. And I don't believe there's any other step I need to take in this spot. Congratulations on winning the game, thank you. That boy not so slim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. AK90, good to see you again also. How did you solve vanilla for elevator plus LTN station usage? I tend to have vanilla trains blocking stations because they can't take a full load, but disabling it via train count messed up LTN if a train arrived and the station got disabled. Because the content... Uh, fell below a max threshold. Uh, yeah, so what I did... I mean, I've done both of those, actually. At first, I was setting up all of the stations that can be picked up by vanilla trains so that they can go through the space elevator. Uh, I was setting those up with train limits. Um, but then I decided I didn't want to bother with that. Um... At least for the train, uh, at least for the stations where we only need one, uh, for now anyway, we only need one block. So, like, there's only one place we're producing heat shield right here. Um, we don't actually need a train limit. The trick is, I set the provide stack threshold uh, much higher. Or, in this case, it's only 120, but it doesn't actually matter. Um, basically, you have to have more stuff for LTN to schedule a delivery. So the vanilla train is always allowed to come here, or maybe it's allowed to come here when we've got the bare minimum uh, to pick up. Uh, but LTN, there has to be, say, two train loads of stuff before you allow it a pickup. Um, actually, here I have it set up the same, now that I realize it. Um, we could just as easily... Well, the problem here is there's only storage for 1.4 train loads. Which is not normally what I do. Ah, uh, but yeah, you can actually see it's somewhere around here. Until I changed it recently, actually... Here's a good uh, example. Uh, rough data storage substrates were working like that a minute ago, where the vanilla train was always sitting here waiting to fill up. But you'd have to accumulate, like, say, 160 stacks before a LTM train is summoned. And that's not going to happen while the vanilla train sits here. Yeah, here's exactly that example. Um, so a couple of reasons. Uh, the way I've set this up here is I push from the back wagon to the front in the bulk rail loaders, limit the front one to one cargo wagon full, uh, and I also set a extra large provide threshold so that the 30 items per second pushed from the back to the front aren't going to throw off um, the LTN train picking up when it gets here. Uh, it's going to be able to pick up 100 stacks before, like, 60 stacks is pushed through here at 30 per second. Um, but yeah, basically, quite a few uh, ingots have to accumulate here before LTN sees this as an available pickup. What's going on with our Holmanite, though? Maybe I just need to make more mines. Probably. We do have a source of Holmanite core fragments um, that's apparently not very fast. We've got a lot of Holmanite on planet though. I just haven't been diligent in mining it. Got it, thanks, you're welcome. Other options are also one LTN request to vanilla provide transfer station. Yes, I have done that as well, just because at our oil production, the way I set it up was to have multiple fluids able to be picked up. But we can't do that with vanilla, because the way this works is LTN train arrives at the station, uh, logistic train stop output spits out a signal based on which fluid the train is trying to pick up. 
if it's a vanilla train, we don't get that signal. Um, so I have, like, all these fluids. Um, in hindsight, I probably would have liked to move this a little bit further away. Because I want the... Uh, wow, it's already saturated. <laughs> um, I want the material testing packs as close to the space elevator on the left as possible. But this is still pretty good. Uh, but yeah, here we have a LTN drop-off for uh, lubricant and a vanilla pickup. Uh, and then we go up the space elevator. We've got a bunch of basically like depot stops for the vanilla trains. And they come here immediately after the space elevator. And they wait until... Uh, the train stop, the train limit at the drop-off for Immersite Crystal is greater than zero. Uh, and then here I've got basically a drop-off and then a pickup. The drop-off is for vanilla. It's got a train limit of um, a bit over zero. Uh, it's got a train limit that isn't zero if this is completely empty. And then we just have a standard um, LTN pickup over here. And we can obviously do the opposite, um, the equal and opposite, to take things from uh, orbit down to... Uh, down to the surface. Okay. A little distracted. Where are we? So crystals seem to be doing pretty well all of a sudden. Um, is this busted? Oh, it's actually... It's actually the fluid. Oh, the crushed imacite. We're finally bottlenecked on that again. I'm okay with this. Fantastic. Uh, what else are we doing? Good question. I wanted to expand our space science. Oh yeah, yeah, I was setting up a train for material testing packs, which I think... Well, okay, first of all, I made one error here. I'll, I believe, I'll just double check. Testing pack. Testing pack goes into cards, 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 particle stream, cards, 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 uh, matter, and scrap. Cards, or oh, no, that's particle stream. That's a weird way to make particle stream, considering this is the normal way to make it. Yeah, so we're not taking material testing packs to a mall or to some other build or anything uh, on the ground. So there's absolutely no reason to have a LTN pickup. The LTN stations can behave as vanilla stations, so there's nothing technically wrong with this. Um, I would just prefer... You know, if I see a vanilla train stop here then I know that we're not using LTN to pick this up at a glance. Um, and we don't need to do any train stop limits until... unless and until we do multiple train stations to pick it up. Alright, so time to add one more train to our system here. Um, I guess I'm going to do one more vanilla train and then be a little bit more annoyed with myself when I have to... I don't have to, but I would like to replace them all eventually. Uh, that said, there's no reason why we can't...
why we can't give it the uh, space cargo wagons to begin with. So it's only the train's acceleration that's going to be worse. It'll still be just as efficient going through the space elevator. Alright, so we've got testing pack pickup, testing pack drop off, empty full, and I believe that's it. Off you go. D hose, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good morning, how's it going? Not bad at all, thanks. We were bottlenecked on silicon before, yes we were. Are we still bottlenecked on silicon? I haven't actually done the math. Uh, now we're bottlenecked on sand. Even if we do have the rate for silicon. I didn't actually put these power poles here. But that would probably help as well. I wanted to ride this train up. No. Well, let's just confirm that it's working though. Called it, indeed. Alright, so after a few seconds, because this is where it refuels. Uh, is this the old design where... Yeah. Uh, the thing is, as well, if we don't... If we... Wow, that, that unloads really quickly. If we don't have multiple pickups for a resource on the ground, for instance, uh, if we have it set up so that the vanilla pickup for heat shielding is one train and it can just sit here, then we don't need a depot. Uh, we don't need to use the depot on both sides um, for that schedule. This thing's already saturated again. <laughs> We're going to need multiple trains uh, to keep up with just this one. Let's see how long it takes to saturate. Yeah, I think we're going to need like... I was going to say three or four trains. Let's see where our train is up to. Oh, it's... Nope, that's not it. Should be heading down this way now. Yeah. We're going to need, like, three or four trains, I think. Uh, unless... Until we make the faster ones. Just to keep up with this one block producing material testing packs if they were all getting consumed. Keeping the depot may waste five seconds, but it means you don't need to change the schedule later. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we do need a depot on this side, uh, regardless, for resources that... Um, where's an example? I can't find one right now. There's like one or two resources so far that we've brought from space. I think it's just scrap. Yeah, it's literally just scrap. What does our scrap train do? Oh no, it's there's also copper core fragments. Copper core fragment. Only has a depot stop down on the ground. Because it's always just going to come and pick up couple of coal fragments. At least for now, that's how that's going to work. Cool. What's next? That's the editor. Um, so do we have testing packs here now? We do. And we have a huge amount of contaminated scrap, which is going to mean a huge amount of scrap that comes down to the ground, which means we get a bunch of iron copper and stone back as well. Uh, but yeah, that's our atomic data, which means we should be getting... No? Uh, 
Oh, we're still catching up on blanks. That's why. Alright, that's going to take a while. Mm, I hate to say it, but I'm really starting to think it's time to go back to Nalvis. All those vanilla core fragments, all that stone... Oh, I need to go fix this. That's what I was trying to remember. Iron scrap stone, it's the cycle of life, indeed. Pulmonite is going to take 600,000 years to finish mining. Uh, I think we should have any uh, Naquium processing really, really close uh, and on the left side of the space elevator as well. Oh, we need concrete here. Concrete train, I choose you. That's weird. Oh, it's just that slow. Okay, let's fix that. I just happen to have five speed modules left here. That's fine. We do need more Holmanite, and I'd love to get this block, or at least this half block, emptied and available. There's that big delay that I was talking about, with the bots given being given orders to fill out uh, tile blocks. Okay. You know what? Have some stone. There you go. I never did fix this either. Ah, uh, so many things. So many things. I wonder if there's been a sand train waiting. There has not. Classic Factorio, indeed. Uh, as much as there's a couple of things that are sort of pseudo-busted, um, I think I would like to secure a good source of stone as much as anything else. Like this 5.3 mil right here, it almost feels wide, uh, wide? wild. Um, how much I took that for granted back on Nalvis. Uh, this would be a good opportunity to play with the tank, though, right? We haven't actually done that. Where is tank? Is it called something else? Oh, here it is. I need immersion gear wheel, immersion plate. I need a lot of stuff. Let's go pick it up one by one. Have I actually made the gear wheels? Nope. Uh, can we prod bonus them? Most likely. They go into some tech cards. And... Belts. Yeah, we're definitely going to prod module those. So why don't we do that right now? Right next to ingots. Oh, not ingots, uh, beams. Oh, maybe I could do the beams and the gears right next to each other. I'm sure. I'm sure. I, I, I have the feeling one block is going to be more than enough. Like, a half block is going to be enough for each of these, indefinitely. I could be wrong about that, actually. If this... This goes into science. And I think the beams only go into mole things. How do I get back? Go 
I don't think the beams go into sides. Okay, I think they should probably be separate builds. But they are both the same one in, one out kind of layout. So we could probably just copy paste this. And power poles. And just change the recipes. And stuff. Well, not even end stuff. The drop-off is going to be exactly the same. Except for the station name. Just have to check the rate. Uh, I've switched this off, so that's fine. Let's get our construction train to pay us a visit. Wait for inactivity. Captain True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Visiting to Navas to stop that fuel warning could be good for my OCD. Uh, luckily for you, we're planning to visit Nalvis to secure vanilla core fragments and stone. Editor mod not working today, or are we just doing this vanilla style? We're doing it vanilla style because it's just a really, really simple one-to-one -one, uh, recipe. Except this takes three seconds, this takes two... So we're going to have a lot more input uh, and output. The only question is if the belts can keep up. Do you not have speed modules? What? Oh, no. Oh, that's still a decent number of speed modules. There's 174 over here. Shouldn't the train... Train. Also, I need to go back up for more islands. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of... Um, there's a bunch of speed threes that I left in the mall upstairs as well. I should go pick up some of those. Is there another tier of advanced assemblers on the ground? I don't think there is. I think, uh, apart from, apart from, uh, module tiers, we're at the pinnacle for ground assembly. Um, all right. Where are those speed threes lying around? In here? That's a lot. Uh, no, I don't want to carry those right now. Give me those. Have some locomotives. Subhan, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Maybe I could do some kind of... I don't know, some kind of floor thing where it makes it very obvious which way to the space elevator. Where was I going? Oh, yeah. I also don't need these tier 2s. No, 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 don't steal them. I want them to tr be dropped off over here. Oh, there's no request for tier twos. There we go. 
Alright, so let's go do our emisite gears. And check the rate now that we've got power and modules. 337 per second. Good grief, how fast is this one? It's only 56 per second and 85 in. Less than two belts in other words. Uh, this one's looking a little bit faster. Like, just maybe. Well, that's probably just as well since it goes into science, but still. Um, I kind of don't even want to trim it down, though. Then again, this half build only gives us 5... 5.37 immersium plate per second. We don't have access to advanced furnaces yet, do we? We actually do. Except I'd have to go get those energy control units for them. What's the... Crafting speed 8, as opposed to 4, they're twice as fast. And a little... Okay, more than a little bigger. Compared to our existing ones. Oh well. It's not that many machines. If I just do it like this now, I won't have to think about it for a long time. 337 out though, that's kind of crazy. Maybe I will trim it down. Or maybe I'll use smaller beacons, so the power cost for when it's sitting idle is practically zero by comparison. Or maybe no beacons at all, how about that? Uh, minimum consumption 30, so this is like 100 already. Uh, I think this is a job for small beacons. That's actually plus 100% power. Also, I miscounted. Plus 10. Crafting speed 2, negative 16. Crafting speed 1. Maybe I'll just leave this as is for now. Maybe there's a world where I'll upgrade it with uh, much faster belts later on, and or more belts. But I don't think this is going to be active all that often. For a while. Alright, I'll definitely limit the output, and switch the sun. And here it comes. Have you queued pylons etc in the ground autocrafter? Actually no. What was it that we needed for the pylons that made me have to go to space? I'm pretty sure there was something. Or, no, I think, uh... Wow, the bots are taking their sweet time on this. What? Because there aren't any in the robot network. Uh, what were we doing? Pylon? We need Holmium Cable... Why don't I just check this way? We've got everything, except for Holmium Solenoid. Have I even made Holmium Solenoids? I'm sure I have. But where?
Not found in storage on the ground. This is it. I'm pretty sure we can make those on the ground and prod them though. And that's why I've been putting this off. Okay. Uh, there's our gears in any case. For the tank, we need only 20 gears. What was the other thing we needed the gears for? Nothing yet. Rabbit hole, let's go. This this episode is nothing but rabbit holes. I feel like. This is a deep spelunk of rabbit holes. Pretty sure I need beams. Uh, I don't actually. I need plate, rare metals, two heavy armored vehicles, i.e. old tanks. Where is the tank? Here it is. Uh, heavy girder, heavy bearing, LDS. Factorio is just a rabbit hole simulator. Yes. Where are my bots going? Probably placing concrete. Where am I going? And why do I have a rocket launcher? Like an old one. That is... This is looking surprisingly short. What's it missing? Girders. And girders are just not high enough to trigger an LTN delivery. Girders are short iridium. I guess I'm not terribly shocked by that. Uh, we are materially short, right? Or is it actually a processing problem? Okay, the fact that this isn't full uh, tells me that yes, we are able to process all the iridium. Although that uh, dirty water is not looking so hot. Did I not put speeds in it? We're supposed to be net negative on dirty water here. Dirty iridium water, negative 60. So why? Why is this one having trouble outputting? Because we're having trouble outputting water here? Where is the water going? The water is getting vented at a rate of 50 per second. Net rate of water for the whole thing. Uh, is negative. Maybe it's just a flow issue? How full is this? Pretty damn full. I'm... I'm feeling pretty skeptical that this is... that the math is correct with our right calculations here. Oh, 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 oh. We're not actually consuming 105 water per second, are we? It's six water per second as steam. So that that's like 99 extra water per second. Which means we definitely need like two more layer stacks to not bottleneck on filling up with water.
I'll just handcraft those, that'll be easiest. Um, but that said, it doesn't seem like we were actually bottlenecking on the processing. I could be wrong. If this thing is often full waiting to launch, then that would have made a difference. Either way, it's a good thing to do. Now then, we were trying to make the tank. Uh, I need 10 energy control units. We make those on the ground, actually. LDS, Holmium Solenoids. Rare Metals. I think it's all at the mall. Let's have a look. Uh, I could just make some Holmanoid. Holmanoid? Holmanoid. Uh, if we if we don't strictly need to make a whole lot of solenoids just yet, I could do a little dedicated build for it here. Apparently we don't have Holmium Cable here, but we do have Holmium Cable over here. Fantastic. All we have to do is ask for it. And it's on the way. Nice. Might need more storage still. Uh, and then we need to program in pylons down here. Pylon. Pylon. I'm pretty sure the pylon substation with the light requires the pylon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And lighted pylon substation. Cool. Uh, and then we need we not have aeroframe poles in here? I guess not. Uh, Holmium cable, beryllium plate. Beryllium plate. And I know we're going to need solenoids. Something. Um, and I'll have to white stuff. Also, the prereqs of pylon and pylon substation. And go in here. And I don't know where I'm going to put this. I would put it here. Let's just put it down this way. Actually, I kind of want to keep all of those together. How about here? Pylon. Pylon uh, substation. And those prereqs. Aeroframe pole. Uh, solenoid. And I believe it was beryllium plate. Oh. 
When are you going to move all your single cylinder engines from the vault space? Um, we've been moving them. We're down to 76k. It's fine. It's sorting itself out. Do we not have lithium sulfur batteries here? We do. Do we not request them down here? We do not. Cool. Uh, and holmium solenoids. I guess we're just bottlenecked on. Yeah. But we hardly need any of those, right? We need like one per... two per... four per pylon substation. Overall, that's not going to be that fast. That said, maybe I'll let a few more accumulate. Alright, tank. Uh, we need some energy conduit. Why don't I just make a, like, a requester here? Instead of putting it all in my inventory. Let's see what we've got. Conduits should be on the way. Huh. We're out. There's no electronic components. Uh-oh. What's happening with electronic components? There's actually quite a few here. We're out of silicon, which means... which we're out of sand as well. Uh, it would probably help a little bit if that side wasn't stuck, but I th think we're just going to get a little bit before that stops as well, by the look of it. Then again... Yeah, I don't see any silicon on this side, even though... Uh, even though the output never actually worked. Or well, some of the output did work, actually. So it's just these machines. Yeah, we're just going to get, like, I don't know, a couple of hundred or so components out of that. I think I'll steal some. Take it back to the mall. In we go. Because we do need a few of these. Energy control unit. Uh, we actually just need seven more. And then heavy armored vehicle. Which is pretty straightforward. You can actually prod module this? What? <laughs> what? What the... You can prod module tanks. Not the vanilla tanks, but the, the K2 tank. Yes, very important that our many, many, many tanks that we're going to produce are going to cost a little bit less. 32% less, roughly. Um, that seems like an oversight. Yeah. I don't see a way that you could make it game-breaking. Unless you were using AAI, but then, like... It's... no. Not really. Alright, we need some... other stuff in here. We literally just need two of these heavy armored vehicles. And 
think you can stop now. Wait, no. Now you can stop. Let me just clean up my inventory a little bit here. I'm leaving behind some things that are not going to be used in this place, but oh well. Alright, do we have our tank? Nope, we need three more energy control units. Do we not have a beacon here? I thought we did have a beacon here. Um, that's actually a surprisingly easy place to put it. Although I'd kind of like to cover these, but we can't. Alright, have some... No, I don't have any modules. Where have they gone? That's the speed 9. Don't really need that. Where did the speeds go, though? Could be anywhere. Oh, I think I saw speed 1s. That's not what I'm looking for, though. Speed 1s... Alright, fine. I'll search for them. Oh, they're right here. I've seen them there before. I should have remembered. us add exactly one tank. Beautiful. Let's see how it handles. Build an advanced tank. It needs processed fuel or fuel biofuel or advanced fuel. It's actually... I never actually bothered with any of those production chains yet, with the fancy fuel. Let's have a look real quick. Fuel is made in fuel refinery, of course. They all are. You only need that fuel on Nalvis, pretty much. But I am curious. Light oil makes fuel. Solid fuel plus hydrogen makes fuel. That's probably more efficient. 10 fuel for 120 heavy oil. 10 fuel for 60 light oil. That's heavy, though. Well, no, it's not heavy, it's whatever you make solid fuel out of. Uh, biofuel requires biomethanol, we know how to make that. It's basically free. Uh, let's see, fuel value 15 megajoules, 15 megajoules, 50% 50 pollution, less acceleration, lower top speed. Um... But 6 fuel becomes 10 for biomethanol, which is basically free. Fine emesite powder and fuel makes advanced fuel. That's not too difficult. Just don't use the pylons with robo extenders in them. I think it was burgers and fries that had a lot of issues with them. Pylons with rope. Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a mod setting for SE. Basically, the... Uh, what are they called? Radar pylons? Like, the highest tier of pylons. Uh, radar construction pylon and or construction pylon. 
by default it's switched off, but they've got like one robot charging port on them, which would be great, but the bots don't know the difference between a building that has one charging port and a building that has 32 charging ports. Like, they'll all just descend upon it when they need energy at the same time is the only problem. They seem to tank UPS. Um, I'm not sure about that one. Well, I don't think the fuel matters that much, to be honest. But what I'm excited about... Oh, wow. Heavy machine gun, impulse cannon, fast railgun, A, B, and sniper railgun? Good grief. Um, that's kind of a lot. Well, we can make that stuff on Nalvis for the most part. Railgun shell. Is all vanilla stuff. Explosive railgun shell. Uh... So all of these take railgun ammo. Fast railgun A, B... Does it, like, auto-aim or something? So what do you need the tank for? For murder, mostly, indeed. Uh, Anti-material rifle mags go in the heavy machine gun. Wow. That's, um... That sounds intimidating. All right. Well, regardless, we'll make that stuff on Nalvis, I think. I don't want to spend, like, antimatter or imasite on this stuff. Fuel is obviously not going to be that difficult. Um, in fact, have some... Wait, what? Oh, it can't have solid rocket fuel. Oops. Uh... Do I have any fuel lying around? Surely. 2.5k processed fuel. Where is the process? There it is. Okay, processed fuel. It is indeed a vehicle. Uh, and I want to figure out what I'm going to put in the grid. 12 by 15. That's kind of a lot. I could run it off of portable nuclear reactors, potentially. We could give it some built-in laser defenses. I could do some portable RTG. It's a lot less power. But I never have to worry about refueling it. Uh, what's this? 384... Oh, didn't I do the math on this? Uh, 384 times 4 is 1536. It's just more power than the portable RTG. <laughs> kind of busted. So, big portable... Inside solar panels. Uh, how many of these can we fit? That's a lot. Uh, this this is two by two as well, right? What even fits down here? Uh, so if we had personal laser, well, okay. If we can do it's twelve by fourteen. Uh, so six by seven. Forty-two times three eighty-four. Uh, if it was nothing but solar panels, we'd be looking at 16 megawatts. Obviously, we need to scale that back a little bit. Um, but I think I would like to make some tier 3, because they are overall a bit more efficient. 
Sniper as well as personal laser defense. Need some lithium batteries. I think they're in here actually. Not enough. I'll do. Make it break the sound barrier, you betcha. How fast is this? It's pretty damn slow. I definitely want to speed it up a bit, even if this is running off of processed fuel. Um, I'll definitely want to put in some advanced electric engines. But first I want to see what kind of ratio I can give it for defenses. I'm pretty sure I can't put adaptive armor in these things, unfortunately. Have I even researched energy shield? No, I have not. Energy shield, Mark 1. I could do that right now. Max consumption is only a megawatt. Shield hit points 100. Recharge rate's kind of fast. Compared to adaptive armor, Mark 1. Uh, only 25 hit points. Much less consumption. The trouble with the energy shields as well is if you go fast, they just drain, but that won't be a problem with the tank. I think. Love the electrical engine mod for vehicles, nuclear slash fusion powered tanks with all the lasers, indeed. Um, I think we'll put off this research and get as many energy shields as we can. For the moment, that's kind of expensive. Also, it's tier 3, so uh, I guess we're looking at tier 2. Which can consume up to 3 megawatts. Do we have everything we need to research energy shield? I believe so. Uh, Silit Bang, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, that's not going to take too long, um, but I need to do the math of... Well, as long as we have batteries, it doesn't really matter. Shield power consumption is going to be a little bit bursty, depending on how aggressive we are, right? I'm pretty sure they're all 2x2, two two. yes... Um, I'd really like to produce one or two more personal SMGs. What are we missing? Regular batteries and electronic components. Do I not have a dedicated storage for regular batteries? Are you telling me there's no batteries in the mall? There's no batteries in the mall. That is pretty surprising. Did we never request them? Huh. Okay then. Wait, no, here they are. 9k. Oh no. Is batteries... Hold on. I think I just need to update the request for it. 200. That's only 45 stacks. And our request st stack threshold is 50. Yep, there's your problem. All of these 9Ks should be 11K. All of these 5s should be 6s. Uh, 
that's never even going to get delivered. Pretty sure. Or was that... Oh no, I overdid it. Whatever, it's fine. We got our batteries. Yeah, here's our dedicated storage for batteries. Alright. We can now make this thing get upgraded. I'd be surprised if we can squeeze more than two or three in these uh, of these into the tank uh, with the way I want to do the power. Uh, without having to give it nuclear fuel. Uh, and I definitely want one or two snipers. Maybe just the one? Need some glass. tank is very different from the vanilla one. Yeah, it really is. Uh, it actually requires a couple of, like, vanilla tanks mashed together to make it somehow. What equipment would I even use that's an odd number? Uh, night vision? Emersite night vision? What's the difference? doesn't really say. I'm pretty sure we can't put exoskeletons in there. Uh, we've got the perfect night glasses anyway from the Afraid of the Dark mod. I don't know if putting it in the vehicle works. That's actually 2x2 two two though. This is 1x1. One one. Discharge defense? I don't think we're putting that in the tank. Belt immunity? Actually, I'm curious, would that actually work for the tank? I'm... Normally I would never build one of these. But we're gonna make a belt immunity. Jetpacks obviously won't work. Batteries, we might have to. Um... That's kind of it, actually. I'm not going to do robo-ports for the tank, and even if I did, I would use the small ones. Uh, I also want to play around with potentially rocket turrets, railgun turrets, and laser... laser artillery. That sounds like a good time. should probably add that. Laser artillery. I think we can make that here. Uh, same goes for the railgun turret and rocket turret. We can actually do something with that random rocket launcher I've got lying around. I'll have to do the whole prerequisite chain first. Alright, belt immunity equipment, go. That's, that's not what I had in mind. Put it down the bottom of the grid. Is this thing gonna... Wait, didn't it have a laser in it? Oh, there it is. That is taking its sweet time to charge. Oof, owie. Nine megawatt? What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six by six. Thirty-six times three eighty-four is 13 megawatt. It should be charging the personal SMG as quickly as possible, actually. There we go. Okay, anyway, we've got the uh, belt immunity. And it does indeed work for the vehicle. Fantastic. <laughs> that looks so weird. Let's bring it back over here. Belt immunity, go. Fantastic. May as well. Bottom of the grid screen tells you the power. 
Oh, it does? Yeah, 13.82 megawatts. Cool. Um, I don't think we can do two personal laser SMGs and potentially a sniper. That's 18 plus 7.2. Um, 25, 25.2 megawatt. I think we have to go for... Uh, for the portable nuclear reactors. I pretty much never have to refuel them, but it's still like... I don't know. I still just don't love having to do that. Uh, if I can pick up the tank and preserve the grid, and it's not going to make me go radioactive, then I guess it's fine. This takes a long time to pick up. Wow. Oh, and now it's on the ground. There we go. Uh, where's the tank? Here it is. Oh. Let's put a... Portable... Oh god, oh, no, 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 no. Ouchie. Okay. Uh, so it's got power. Only 2.4 megawatt, really? What's 384 times 4? Uh, 1.5. So this is like... 2400 over 1536. It's 1. 1.56 times more power. 56% more power than this. That's... Uh, than the big Imosite solar panels. I'm really surprised it's that small of an upgrade. I don't have anything more powerful than this, though, I think, at this stage. I don't think I could. This would be less powerful. 1.2 megawatt as opposed to 2.4. There is singularity and fusion reactors later, but obviously... We don't have that just yet. So this is as good as it gets for now. Um, so what if I had... Well, why don't I pick this up real quick? Did I say it was 1.56 times? Uh, I think so? 1538. 1536. 1.56, yeah. What's with that rounding or something? Uh, anyway, so if we had... Why are you like this? Uh, if we had... how much was it? Let's say everything but the top row was solar panels. And maybe a bit in the top row as well could be solars. Okay, so we're looking at 13.82 megawatt. Times 1.56 is 21 megawatt. Uh, technically, this it can't keep up with two of these and one laser, uh, one sniper. That is pretty weak. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, do I go for one SMG, one sniper? 18 per second times 84 laser damage is like 15, 12. That sounds like a lot. But I won't get a feel for it until we're actually hitting some fighters. Unless I go by... Wait, am I dying? No, no, we're good. Uh, how, how many hit points do fighters have these days? Here we go. Would, would one of you sit still, please? There we go. Oh, no. Behemoth uh, has 5,250 health. 
Hmm. Ranged ones have 3.7k. So if we're looking at what was it? 18 times 84. It's like 3.3 seconds for one of these to kill a behemoth. The sniper has almost double the range, really. Uh, DPS is obviously going to be way lower. Damage per power is probably going to be way lower. Energy per shot is 12 times. What's 700 over 84? Uh, 8.33 times the damage for 12 times the power. So it's like 50% less power efficient. But we get a lot more range. Was the range of the built-in weapons? Not sure. You'd just have to run over all the biters. I could do one sniper, one SMG. That might not be the worst idea. But yeah, if I basically fill this with power, as in... Portable nuclear reactors, where I've got all these solar panels. Uh, it's still not enough to run these three turrets. What's your plan for biters at night? Uh, it doesn't matter. For one thing, I won't actually be using the big portable emissites. I'm just using them to calculate. But uh, also, the portable solar panels never actually give you less power. Uh, weirdly enough. But yeah, I think we'll go. I think we'll go one and one for tier three. Whoops. Uh, for tier three SMG and sniper. But that's basically plan B. So we'll have one, two, three. 3 by 3 9 of these, 2.4 megawatt. I'll double check. Uh, 21.6 megawatts. That leaves like... 5? And a bit? Uh, megawatts of power spare. Considering that the shield generators can consume 3 at maximum. Okay, is the... I, I think I remember the lower tier shields being more energy efficient, actually. So we've got... Does it tell you energy per hit point? Yeah, it does. 26.67, 25.67. That is not worth worrying about. Uh, but what if... 1 megawatt... 3 megawatt. Max, so 1 megawatt for max health 100. 38.9. Pretty much 39 hit points per second. Way more hit points per second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Mark II is just way better. There's no universe where we're better off having a few Mark I's in parallel by comparison. All right, let's make some more portable nuclear reactors. Actually, I should just bring the tank with me. Where the hell am I? And it's going to take 600 years to pick up. Room for more electric motors. I don't know if we can fit any electric motors. If we're going to support those lasers and shields. We'll see. Where am I going? Uranium. Okay. So we're going to need... 
What does it cost to make one of these? Oh, nothing. I mean, it doesn't cost any uranium to make them. You need eight. That's gonna take a moment, actually. Uh, but we need, like, eight stacks of uranium fuel cell to make it last practically forever. I just hope it doesn't, like, delete how much fuel is left from that first cell when we pick this up. I wouldn't be terribly surprised if it did. Uh, maybe it won't. Let's find out. It did not. Cool, 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 cool. Good to know. Um, I guess I could put the other eight stacks in the tank for the moment. But if I pick up the tank, uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to go to my inventory. So we will have to wait. Okay, that's actually not going to take as long as I thought. 60 seconds crafting time. Oh, no. Five, six, seven, eight minutes and change. Rip. Uh, what about our energy sh Ooh, they're almost done. We gotta look into how to make them. I need force field data. Do we have any? Yeah, we do. Cool, cool, cool. What else? Uh, I need Mark 1 shield generators. The rest is pretty straightforward. And then electromagnetic field data. All right, let's go steal some of that. And drop off these random rough data storage substrates while we're at it. Did I connect that? I did. Fantastic. Let's make sure it gets built. Get out of here with those diagonal wires. No! Why are you like this? No pun intended. Let's just grab this blueprint. There we go. Much better. Okay. Up the elevator we go. Uh, and back to the ball. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need the electromag data. And the force field data. I need... Well, I'll just take one stack of each. That'll be more than enough. And what else should we research while we're waiting? The thing that we were researching was stuck on... I don't even know what. I thought it was imicite. We'll find out. Alright, give me a stack of that. Give me... that's a lot of catalogs. Give me a stack of that. And I... you know what I just wanted to do? Uh, take the magic mirror out of my inventory and teleport back to base. Wrong game. Wrong game. Alright, we need holmium cable and steel plate. I guess I can grab those from here. There's probably something else I need to grab from here for the higher tier. I actually need 
significantly more hold in the cable than that. There it is. Uh, that'll give us seven shield generators, or in other words, one Mark II. I need Iridium Plate. Here it is. No, that's iron. Do we have Iridium Plate here? We have 15 for some reason. Let's summon it. We do have Iridium Plate up here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That won't be a problem. Um, stack size 40? Yeah, stack size 40. Uh, where's, where's my calculator? 40 times 15, 2000. Let's ask for like 2500. And the request threshold here. Oh, it's actually 100 stacks. Okay. Make it for 500. Should be on its way shortly. It already is. The green light just didn't change color. And we want. How many? How many megawatt did I say we had spare? Where's our tank? Did I not pick up the tank? Is it back here? It is back here. Oh, that's why I didn't pick it up. Okay, 9 times 2.4... 5 ish? Yeah, 21.6 megawatt. Minus 9. Minus... Uh, 7.2. We're assuming that all of these are active at the same time. So we've got 5.4... Or megawatts to spare. Um, I think if we have two Mark II shield generators and some battery, or maybe even solar panels. Hold on, two Mark II shields would put us. I wish I kept the calculator up. 2.4 megawatt times 9 minus uh, 16.2 5.4 uh, minus 6 is 0.6 that we have to make up. Uh, and if we put two solar panels in here, we're actually just barely positive. But we wouldn't be able to fit any... Um, additional electric engines. They are rather big. I would have to swap out a whole nuclear reactor for those. Uh, for one of those. 50% movement speed from just one dough? Might be worth. But then... If I drop even one nuclear reactor... The shields and DPS that we can have is substantial substantially harmed. I think I'll just try it at slow speed. Alright, where's our Iridium? Is this it? Fantastic. And then I need more steel. Where's my steel? I thought I was carrying steel ingots. I am carrying steel ingots. You're really telling me I can't make 50 steel worth of... What? Oh, it's Holmium Cable. That makes sense. Cool. Um... Yeah, I think that'll be it for our tank. 
for the power armor type of stuff in it anyway. And we'll obviously make some railgun ammo. And, uh, what is it called? Anti-material rifle ammo back at home. I actually used up all of the... What's it called? Uh, electromagnetic field data that I picked up, apparently. Oh, that lined up pretty well, I guess. Let's go put this thing together. Uh, Budgie Bum, if I didn't say. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Well, I uh, hope you're doing well. My words are all blurring together. It's fine. No drain damage. Alright, so what is Logis, uh, Logi 5 stuck on, I wonder? We have no... Energy one. We do have energy one. Uh, material. Uh, pro prod science, really. I could just request that from the rail network. But I'm curious, how did it break? Oh, I really should be bringing material testing packs here. So that we don't miss out on the prog bonus. Uh, let's say 2,000. Cool. Um, but yeah, material science. There's no prod ones. Are we making prod ones here? Yes. No electronic components. Uh, that's kind of spooky. Are we requesting them? Did we? I think we used to make them here. There's zero electronic components. Why don't we just have them delivered? Double check that they're not on this quest. Nope. Alright. 100, 100. You know what? I should just request the minimum here, I think. Or maybe slightly more. Take a while, even if we are short, to run out of these stored electronic components. Um, okay. Where were we? Ooh, we're almost done making our energy shields. And away go our bots. And bringing us back lovely stone. Thank you so much for that. Okay. And we want a couple of shields, I mean, solar panels over here. Uh, one SMG, one sniper, couple of energy shit shields, and then we start filling these up. Carefully, so that we don't leave them in our inventory somehow. That's all of them. Is all of them. Okay, that's our tank.
let's take it to Nalvis. If we can ever pick it up. There we go. Alright, we're going to have to take a cargo rocket because our spaceship is indisposed. Um, I don't really want to take all this stuff back to Nalvis because we could just make it there. Theron Lefty, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What do I want to take to Nalvis, if anything? Maybe some exotic resources? In case I want to uh, make certain things. I could always set up cargo landing pads. Um, and like, this one could... Lo oh no. Where are my cargo rocket sections? Oh no. Uh, but yeah, I could launch, not specifically to Hagen, but to any, uh, any launch pad with same name, landing pad. A space elevator? Um, that's not going to help that much just yet. Maybe after I build things up a bit on Nalvis some more. Well, I don't so much want to build things up on Nalvis. I want to clear biters, uh, and then I actually want to trim away all of this fat and end up with the smallest footprint we can. And that's going to take a while. What else could I possibly want to take with me back, though? Some ingots of the Holmium variety, for instance. I could always just send them. Actually, taking a space elevator just so it's there later might not be the worst idea, even if I don't do it now. Nyron Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, let's grab ourselves a space elevator. Seems like a good idea. What's the space elevator made of? Uh, cable made from again, though? I think it's exotic resources. Yeah, Holmium cable, heavy girder, aeroframe, coal. It's not like Nalvis can support itself space elevator cable-wise. Isn't it cheaper to launch from orbit to send back the core fragments? Yeah, but I'm not too worried about... Like, my first priority when I get there isn't to set up the mining so much as clear the biters. I don't want to have to deal with them again. Um, we're also going to play around... Oh, I forgot. I wanted to set up... Uh, let's see... Laser artillery turret. Stacks to 10. Um, maybe go for a couple of stacks of that. Uh, railgun turret. So stacks to 10. Rocket turret. Stacks to 10. And no doubt we'll be needing some prerequisites to make those. Why are we not making inserters? Why are there no green circuits? Why are there no... there's lots of green circuits, what the hell? Nine thousand. Is forty-five stacks, well there's your problem. I was just saying earlier I need to change all these stack size 200 things to at least 11k. Maybe I got distracted. There should be green circuits on the way now. Fantastic. Why are cargo rocket sections not going back to Grannis, for example, though? Cargo rocket section packed 500. Um, are we not producing them? They're saturated. Oh, okay, they're not that saturated. 
Did I turn these off or something? No? Do I need to update the amount we're asking for? No? Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, what are we short on here? Um, 32k is 160 stacks. We're only asking for 100 stacks to trigger a train delivery. These are all 160 stacks. Two train loads with the old train size. So, what? What's busted here? Let's trace it back. There's no rocket con Control units. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's no glass. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. I put it off too long. Uh, let's get this stone mine going. Uh. Maybe like that. And like this. Got it got it in one sand storage uh, shortage indeed. That should not be a regular rail signal. Uh, and we'll need this to go here as well. I might be able to get the construction train to reach all of that if I just park it up here. Oops. Do we real are we really that short on stone? Uh I I guess I guess so actually. Oh boy. This stone well there's a lot there, but it's a bit slow. I haven't actually put a beacon there. be needing some extra signals, I think. Can we not? There we go. I mean, we don't strictly need those, but it's not the worst idea. Uh, we'll obviously be needing some power. So mining. Uh, do we have full coverage? Of course not. Let's fix that. And back here as well. modules. I think I want to go over there to... S oh, I'm in orbit. I forgot. Uh, I was coming here for a space elevator, was I not? Oops. Elevation. There it 
this. We have exactly one. I don't think we need to build more than one at a time. Back downstairs we go. It's so weird being short of stone all the time, of all things. Oh, I think the construction train probably came back, or is on its way back. Uh, that might not be the worst, I could ride it back, but it's still here. Let's connect this, and this, and this. We're actually one short for full coverage here. Um, I don't really want to limit the belt sides. Let's do it like that. Oh, you're out of drills as well? That is indeed more than 50 drills. Okay. I think rather than wait for the construct... Could... Wow, you're fast. Come back. Uh, wait for the construction train. I think I'll borrow one of these. Take a fluid wagon so it can't accidentally pick things up. And wait for... I don't know, full cargo. Yeah, that's kind of fast. High-speed rail, let's go. Kinda looks like that's not connected, though. Okay. Did I... Don't tell me I didn't bring enough prods. Oh, no. Oh, the tragedy. Alright, let's put some beacons in. I do at least have some efficiencies and such. I think I'll do the plus 10% power consumption this time. And if I put one here, it's going to give beacon sickness. Power all drills, indeed. Alright, is construction train ready to bring us prod modules? Not even close. Oh, it's still here. Um, so that's a no then. Yeah, let's go back real quick. Do we have any other big stone mines that are not horrendous? horrendous? Lostly, horrendously far from our rail network. Oh, I'm looking at one. Potentially. 2.6 mil. Actually, yeah, that'll do. Uh, let's grab our highway and head down this way over here. And I'll grab this little roundabout. That's not quite what I had in mind. Alright, but first... first. I'm gonna need you to go deliver those prods. Um, it's probably easier if I just get the construction train to do both of these. Oh, but I need to place wide area beacons.
Make sure I don't run out of efficiency modules. How's the new sushi build doing? It's actually doing very well. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, it saturates ridiculously quickly. Like, before the train can come back and pick up more. By a lot. Uh, but yeah, basically we've got... Bring pylon substation for power. I think I'm already carrying those. Yeah. Uh, basically what we do is regular half belts for iron and copper. And then on the closer belt, we've got a split of 50% of half belt for plastic and rare metals. Um, we merge that in as a priority. And the remainder can just be filled up by... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Imacite Crystal. And that gets us more than eight uh, of each resource per second. For each column. And then to recycle it, we had to get a little bit creative. Uh, for the ones on the side, it's neat enough to just go back up here and straight back in here. But we didn't have two more slots around the warehouse. Um, so the other two I sent back up the middle, underground up to the first um, bulk rail loader, and then through here. Uh, but yeah, it actually works very well. Very, it's pretty neat. Speaking of sushi builds, we're standing next to one now. This is the old multi-cylinder engines. Hey, Logi 5! We got there eventually. Do we want to do... Alternate recipes for simulations? Ooh, we can do three at once. Wait, can we? Why can't I do it up? What prereqs are we missing here? This one. Uh, we could do three at once, but... We're gonna need... You actually only need the first tier to get universal simulation? Okay, that is a big motivator to get bioscience done as well. Two belts in, two belts out, uh, worth it overfill the unloader, won't it overfill the unloader when a train comes? Uh, yes and no, so basically for each individual resource we only need 32 per second, considerably less than one blue belt. I've got one blue belt of each resource going into the warehouse from here. The train unloads 50-50 here and here. So we actually only need two belts. This would this would not be saturated normally. Uh, the recycling stuff. Uh, normally there'd be very little remaining. Uh, like maybe half a belt at most. Uh, before that comes back up here. You can almost completely discount it. But yeah, it's on, it only looks like this. Because the output is... Totally saturated. That's how it be. Speaking of which, um, material testing packs are indeed finding their way over here. Fantastic. Alright. Where's our construction train? Want to make sure we get those prod modules. Uh, sooner rather than later, because we're wasting stone by not having the prod modules. Also, we need more power. Um, but it's kind of weird that this is saturated, and I'm not seeing a train come here right now. 
kind of very weird, actually. Wait, don't tell me we've got stone, but we're bottlenecked on sand. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting that. That's only a half build for sand. I've got a big one down here. Yeah, we actually need to beacon sand. Alright, that's looking a lot better than I thought it was. Fantastic. Let's go do exactly that. Where's that half build? I did say sand. Yeah, but I thought it was sand because we were out of stone. Because we're always out of stone. <laughs> Not today, though. Today's an exception. Alright, can the belts keep up? 158 stone per s uh, sand per second. Uh, we've got like 120, so that's a no. Let's upgrade the blue belts on this side of the block. Sandtastic. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, I'm gonna need to go get some more... Some more blue belt. What is this doing, even? What? What even is that? I'm going to have to review this one. Where's our construction train? Already on its way back or finished? Beautiful. Uh, judging by the run on stone here, maybe there is a bit of a stone shortage. Maybe. I think... I think there's some old build here that doesn't make sense anymore. Can I just handcraft the rest of these? Shockingly, yes. Beautiful. And let's speed up the other sand... the big sand build. Four speeds. Yep. Bit of seventy percent power. Uh, and now we're looking at four hundred and seventy-five sand per second. Two thirty-seven on each side. Um, the belts can keep up, though. Apparently. I don't know. The belts are looking saturated. But the math says each column is 118 per second. We've got 90 per sec. Yeah, we are bottlenecked on belts. Not by that much. Maybe I'll just give it more efficiency. That's still slightly bottlenecked on the belt. I'm okay with that. Cool, cool, cool. So we are looking at 360 sand per second uh, from this block. And this one... 80 times 2 per second. Uh, and we've got four blue belts. That should be fine. Might take a minute to catch up on all this other stuff after that blunder. Where's my glass build? Wherefore art thou glass? Oh, it's right here. It's just a little hard to see. Glass is actually totally saturated. Um, It didn't catch up that quickly, did it? Or do we actually need more production? This thing's short on glass. What? We're not requesting it properly. That must be it. No? Stack size 200? 
Yeah, this is 80 stacks. I don't even have to do the math this time. Uh, let's make sure we can fit everything. There's only th four inputs. And we're looking at 600 stacks. Um, let's see. Uh, 600 over 4, 150, we'll ask for like 140 stacks. 28,000? That might be a bit much. 24,000. Um, and this would be 12,000. No, wait. Let me just check. 32k. That's 160 stacks. Yeah. Why was glass so low? Who knows? Oh, I forgot to account for the extra storage space we have here. That's probably fine, though. As long as there's plenty of time for our trains to... We need prod threes here. Uh, as long as there's plenty of time for our trains to bring in... the resources before the input stops. Uh, and I think I want to skip unloading this time. Since all we're doing is prods. Silicon was an issue as well. The hacks maybe check that. Uh, we upgraded it today. As much as we can without doing a new build. Yeah, silicon was waiting for sand. That's looking pretty good now. We've got... 56 times 2. 112.75 silicon per second. That is more than two stacks. Are you recycling old prod mods? Uh, kinda. They find their way back to the mall. The mall, if enough stuff accumulates, will offer it to the rail network. But the rail network's not actually bringing these back here. Um, I could always just manually bring them back. But... There's not that many prod twos that we had lying around. What's the grid size? Uh, the snap two is 86. So I think that's probably it. We're taking out the prod twos here. So those will end up back in the mall. That poor train has been without fuel for 10 <laughs> streams now. Indeed. Um, well, maybe today. We are getting ready to go back to Nalvis. Some crazy number of mods here, indeed. Inri Inri, Muxicoid, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Do I want to get the... I need Immersite Crystal. Nitric Acid, I can't handcraft it. Ravna. I've got Nitric Acid up here. As is light. Uh, we're going to make the night vision, if that's what you mean. And we've got lighted power poles literally everywhere, so there's that. Night vision. Uh, I need to make the tier 1 night vision. Plastic and red circuits. Well, if I go to red circuits, I'll find both of those. I also need a handful of Immersite Crystal. A ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so let's go get that plastic and red circuit. At this point, just put it out of its misery. <laughs> no. These take prods. 
I don't think we've been using them yet, but still. Should probably make sure. Oh wow, these have tier 2 machines as well. Good thing we haven't been taking much of those upstairs yet. We'll get back to that. What was I doing? Red circuits. Red circuits and plastic. Gimme. Oh, the plastic's all empty. No, the timing! They literally just finished eating all the plastic. Wait. No, they don't take plastic in K2. Well, there's your problem. At least not directly. Plastic, I see you. Night vision, goggles times one. Fantastic. And I'll be interested to see if night vision goggles in a vehicle does anything. If you're driving it. Night vision... Right. In you go. Will research work? Uh, I don't know. It should, probably. It was before. Oh, why are you like this? Uh, pick, pick up. There we go. I wonder what's, what it's missing now. I don't even really care about the research at the moment. It's got everything. What? Oh. Oh, this needs bio. Oh, I didn't mean to try to research that one yet. Well, there's your problem. That's actually getting researched super quick. Now then. Did we get, uh, these things produced? Rocket control units were the problem, right? I need to make another trip here? I want to send the construction train to this mine before I forget. I'll go there myself to do the prod mods. Oh yeah, I was going to put this in the tank. Oh, you can't put it in there. Well, there you go. Just wasted all that effort. I'm never going to put this anywhere. Okay. I'm going to grab some prod threes. How many Prod 2s do we have here? Productivity module 2, 1.2k, that's not enough to make it get delivered down here. I could just pick them up myself at some point. Rocket control unit. Uh, how's our power still? Pretty damn good. Alright, since we're playing catch-up, let's get some beacons in here anyway, even if we don't really need it. So what's our rate now for... A whopping 5.28 rocket control units. For something with a stack size of 10, that's not that bad though, actually. I don't think we need this. Uh, we should just limit both sides to one cargo wagon. And that way, that'll work out just fine.
All right, back to the mall. Doopadoop. -doop. Fantastic. Where's that cargo rocket? There was a... Yeah, here it is. There was a disused one that I was going to use. At least as a one-off. Uh, tier 3 modules in K2 require fancy stuff, exotic resources. So I should probably take some with me while I'm at it. Module 3... All of them. This would have been quicker, actually. Let's see how many we've got lying around in the mall. Are we requesting them at the mall? I don't think we are. Let's speed one. Nope, I've always just picked them up myself, for the most part. How's our construction train doing? Could you park yourself down? Wait, wait, wait. Build this first. Could you park yourself down here? Um, I guess it's not as urgent as I thought it was to do some more stone mines, but I would much rather get it done all at once and not have to think about it for a while. Okay, that's a lot of modules. Maybe I don't need to take this many to Nalvis. Considering that ultimately all I want from Nalvis is more or less what we're doing on Muir, except I'll probably take some resources from core mining so that we can make media defense ammo on the spot, for example. And then again, it couldn't hurt to take some in the short term. Probably easier if I just go over there. It's the humane thing to do. <laughs> oh no. This base is actually getting kind of big. Is a chunky patch of iron. Alright, we're just gonna manually drive this forward so we don't have to keep giving it temp stops every 12 seconds. I guess we really don't need the crisscross for these roundabouts. Also, why is there no power? Why is this power pole not built? Almost there. Plan our mine. Like, preferably straight across here, maybe. Like this. 
That's fine. What about that? And once again, this new power pole. Oh wow, that train is still coasting. Nice. Alright, are we in range yet? Just about... Would you place some rail? I don't really want the mine to put stuff in this cargo wagon. Uh, let's just move it down here while everything's still switched off. There we go. Alright. You're looking rather full. You're looking rather full. Let's get some... Drills over here. And is that actually almost everything? So? Alright, let's beacon most of it. It's the only downside of this build is it's often hard to... I mean, I guess if I just put down as many lazy mines next to each other as it took, we could just have a beacon every second... Lazy mine? Uh, this is probably fine. Because the outskirts run out way quicker than the rest. Center left miner has no output. Center left. Oh, this one. And up here as well. Probably be easier if I just use blue belts at this stage. We don't really feel the cost of them anymore. our rate. 33 stone per second. Seems good. Uh, we need, probably need some signals. That might be a good idea. And honestly, that's probably enough. Underground in the way of the top mine? In the way? Oh. Cool, cool, cool. Don't really need this. Alright. Hopefully we can not run out of stone for at least ten minutes. Oh, no. No, 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 What are these bots doing? Stop, 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 stop. Are those mine? Or uh, do they belong to the train? I think they belong to the tr No, I've only got 24. Yeah, I think the green color means they're mine. All the easier to fix it. Cool. 
let's head back. And I'm not going to wait around to test it. What are we researching? A little bit more zone discovery? Why not? We go. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What a mess of wires. I should update that. We're not having water output problems anymore, I imagine. Fantastic. Very, very good. And... Now I just decide what I'm going to take with me. Definitely some modules, maybe some advanced assembly machines would be a good idea. Some wide area beacons, perhaps. I'm not planning on building too much on Nalvis at the moment, though. Efficiencies are practically free on this planet. Where are you going? Back to Nalvis. We are going to clear some biters, fix some stuff. Is this the... yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me just put this icon here. Do what I'm looking for with that. Uh, yeah, we're just going to tidy up Nalvis a bit, fix some broken stuff. Kill a lot of biters, maybe even clear the planet. That might take some time, maybe I'll do it off stream. Um, maybe half of these? Maybe that's too many speed modules to bring. Six, uh, 300 is probably more than enough. Oh, we've got a, a lot more lying around here than I thought. Okay. Um, you know what? Probably keep them. Did you not design an upgraded autocrafter? Uh, do you mean with the advanced assembly machines? Uh, yes and no... I think we were waiting on a piece of tech for that. Advanced assembly machine. Big container. We need to do like a bit of a spiral pattern, I think. Or to do eight of them, uh, we need to do, to do a bit of a spiral pattern. Because we can't do it like this. We just have to shunt that in one direction or the other. And then for the lubricant connection... Probably like this. Um, I can't remember why... I mean, there's no real urgent need, it's just faster. But I thought there was some piece of tech that we were waiting on that would make it that much more elegant. Oh yeah, the long... Uh, the better inserters. Which we're actually relatively close to. Um, in fact, if I just cobbled together Astro 2 in the spaghetti science, we could have them. Um, I definitely prefer the, the shape of it with the long inserters. Alright, I'm not going to take this spare one with me. I will take the space elevator. I'm not taking a particle collider or 50 research servers? Why do I have 50 research servers? Oh god. Oh no. Um, 
Definitely take some signal stuff. I think I've got... I'm pretty sure... No, I've definitely got core mining drills on Nalvis. I don't really need to take anything that we can produce there. It's just somewhat convenient, potentially. Alright, I see bots flying around in this build. That means it's working. That's good to see. And that means... That means we're able to send cargo rocket sections back to Granis. Except... We're still catching up. Yeah, we're still catching up. You only have five wide area beacons in my inventory? Yeah, I do. I'm not really worried about that on Nalvis for the moment. Like I said, the the final uh, layout for Nalvis is just going to be minimal, like any other outpost. Except we might do a bit more ore mining. Uh, or we'll have the excess of core mining that doesn't come back to Hagen. No, I would have to prioritize it. I could use core mining and delete what we don't need uh, to have an infinite supply of media defense installation ammo. And if we put it in the planet or on orbit, it doesn't actually make a difference. If we send, uh, we could send power down through the space elevator. That should probably be fine. We just, it's six megawatt, right? That we can send down. Really, I just want to get over there and play with the tank at this point. Oh yeah, the uh, artillery turrets. Did we get some made? Zero. That's not cool. Um, so I need rocket launcher, heavy girder, gun turret, and energy control unit in here. Obviously need to make these two. Rocket launcher, gun turret. And we'll need to whitelist those. What did we discover? Chorus. Chorus is... Oh. Sorry. This is... Where we find Chorus. Uh, it's in the Brunus system. Kind of far away. Very far away, really. Uh, it is, as, as far as I can remember, the first stone core fragment planet that we found. It's actually... Um, Kind of tempting for that alone. We've got four, actually. This one's kind of close. Tigris. Moderate size, no biters. Uh, that's actually... With the way stone is going, I might even go there. And we've got a huge one full of biters that's far away. Waterless. Moderately huge, full of biters. Wait. Two of them are in the Brunner system, actually. The close one is in... Alphorus? Alphorus. There it is. Something to consider if we don't naturally get enough stone from other sources.
Seems like we're making uh, kind of everything except the laser turrets quickly now. The laser artillery turrets. Heavy... Good. Uh... Please tell me we have enough heavy girders to trigger a delivery. We do not. Why is Iridium so hard? Let's go grab some. I definitely want to play with the laser artillery turrets. I'll probably just uh, end up turret creeping with those and defending them with the tank, maybe. Depends on how strong everything is. Alright, that's more like it. All of the girders back to the mall. Then we shall have plenty of laser artillery turrets. Projectile range 224. Not bad for something that only needs energy, even if it's a lot. Alright, um, give to me some... actually make it temporary. Laser artillery turret, please. Make it 20, why not? Really don't need to be carrying this much of all of these things. I wish there was a quick clear excess button. Anything we're not explicitly asking for from the logistic network. I may as well take one stack of wide area bacon. Oh. I was going to say, did I bring the control units, but I remember dropping off quite a lot of them back here a while ago. Blank data cards of Chernin. How has our production chain been? Blank data card. That's looking pretty consistent for the last 18 minutes or so. 894 per minute. Very, very good. What was I here for? Beacons, of course. Okay. I think that'll do for now. I don't want to bother taking the advanced trains or anything. Yeah, I think this will do. Just make sure we don't lose the tank. That would be... tragic. Auto trash has that option. Auto trash above requests. I guess you could ping that on and off, yeah. Okay. I think I will go and... Well, first of all, I don't want... 
the modules to be in the rocket. I want disposable stuff in the rocket. Anything that we can reproduce on Nalvis. Wait, do big drills? Yeah, big drills are fine. There's no real reason to take some of this stuff, I'm just being a bit lazy with it. Uh, let's go grab a bunch of ingots for the various exotic resources. I guess I can't exactly take ingots for Immersite. I'll probably just skip it. About five stacks of ingots for each. Oh, that's that's also barrel. Okay. Uh, I've already got steel, copper. I mean, that's on Nalvis anyway. Uh, I think I'm just forgetting Holmium. Up we go. It's actually further than I thought. Doop doop. If I bring Immersite as... Well, I'm not going to bring it as raw Immersite. I guess crushed emesite would be the most stack efficient. I could just have it sent there if I'm gonna, gonna do that. Alright, let's take some Holmium Ingot. And probably a bunch of extra solid rocket fuel. So we don't have to think too hard about our jetpack running out. Actually... Do we have a bunch of processed fuel lying around? I think we do. We're going to need it for the tank. Unless I'm going to go to the trouble of... Ammo. I should bring ammo. No, don't. Stop. Stop giving me more stuff. No, bad. Stop it. Um... I think it's in orbit, though. I don't want to go get the Tesla gun ammo of just in orbit. I guess I should. Heavy rockets don't stack that well. Yeah, Hagen orbits got plenty of Tesla ammo. Just take the entire base, indeed. Take some of the good solar panels. That might be the worst idea. Uh, I could potentially send a rocket full of them. This is really more of a military trip than a building trip. And I don't want to spend 600 years preparing for it. I think I should take more heavy rockets. I'm not going to worry that much about the Tesla gun. I'm going to try to do things with the tank. Let's see how that goes. Tesla guns for emergencies. Let's put it that way. Now we got plenty of laser rifle ammo. Let me throw in some requests for railgun turrets rocket turret as well. Oh, no, they're going to do the whole request. The, the whole personal logistics if I do that. Really, I just want to try these out at this point. This does need heavy girders. And the railgun turret actually is something we could do on Nalvis by itself. Assuming we could get there with the research. 
Okay, off we go. I think. What's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is I click this launch button without thinking, actually. There's no destination landing pad. That's Hyperion. That's not Nelvis. Uh, do we have a cargo landing pad? We do. Fantastic. One cargo landing pad, please. Now for slanding pad, launch on manual, and I think that's everything I want to take. That's a lot of efficiency modules, actually. Whatever, I could carry them back. Why is launch disabled? Oh, it needs a little bit more fuel, which we might just barely have. Yeah, that was close. 2.3k left in this container. Alright, off we go to Nalvis. And now I see we've got two trains out of fuel? Right, now it says one. How did that happen? Okay. We are here. Let's take the tank for a test drive. Um, where should I start? We know there are biters up this way. We know there are biters down here. I think the terrains in general is going to be a lot more clearer over this way. Um, how big is this turret? Long? I can rotate it. Even though it's, uh... Oh, how much power do we have spare? 615 megawatts? Seems good. Damn, these are... Intimidating looking. Uh, railgun turret is this one. Okay. We should probably start producing some ammo. Start with refueling that train. <laughs> Fine. Is it this side? No? Which train is it? Oh, it's this one. And it's on the right side. Whatever happened to the fuel, though? There's fuel here. And this one... Maybe the belt got broken. I wonder. Alright, let's let's have a look. Delivery cannon capsules. I just had a thought. Copper, LDS, heat shield, explosives. Uh, it would be terribly inefficient, I'm pretty sure, but you could probably technically core mine, delete some excess as needed, and make uh, delivery cannon capsules out of nothing but core fragments to send the core fragments. So you could have a completely self-sufficient base that just delivers core fragments. Um, and the media defense installation ammo, of course, would be made from core fragments. <laughs> you all seem very happy about this. Um, I wonder why that train ran out of fuel, though. It didn't look like the depot was busted. The short train depot definitely wasn't. So 
So there's no fuel here. Now there's a delivery? What? That's a short train delivering fuel, right? Why now? What? What? Why are you like this? I don't... Did it have no path? No, the, the thing should have been yellow. If there was no path, the schedules should still have been made. Yeah, I... I don't know what the bots could have done just now. Like, this this wasn't destroyed, right? And if it was connected to anything, or even if just this was here, the schedule should have existed already for the train to deliver fuel. And we had plenty of short trains. I do not understand. Why now? Is that train busted as well? Yeah, it is. Bots were just taking their sweet time repairing it. It's a base coming back to life, indeed. Alright, uh... Well, we've got biters up here, and we've got electricity here. Why don't we try out our laser turret? Uh, laser artillery turret, to be precise. Seems like a good idea. Holy crap, this is a long way to fly. I'd forgotten just how big this place is. All that time spent killing the biters kind of just blurs together with enough distance. Are there biters here? There are. Oh, probably because it got trimmed. Rutro. Okay. I want the tank. I want the tank to have fuel. Uh, I should probably give the tank ammo. I kind of want to, um... Oh, wow, it's going through fuel quickly. Jeez. I kind of want to taunt a couple of biters to get a feel for how strong this is. Okay, that's not bad. That's better than I expected. For just... All, all we're paying here is a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of uranium. That's actually pretty good. Except the range on that damn worm. Not a fan. How did I take damage? Bruh. Surely my energy shields didn't reach zero just yet. All of that cost us, like, 80 fuel already. Jeez. Alright, let's put down laser artillery turret. And see what it has to say. Holy crap, that was quick. Holy... Um... Oh, this whole thing's on its own power network. And it's still going crazy. Damn. How much power do we have here? Maximum. Uh, there's 381 solar panels. That's the entire power network here. And it's also supporting laser turrets. Oh, what just happened? What is that sound? I don't like it. Stop. Stop. Don't, don't make that sound again. Sounds cute, yeah, it, it did at first. Uh, our accumulators have run dry, that's why. We have a lot of accumulators here. Okay, good to know. Um, just how much damage did it do in that time? A bit. Let's 
Oh no, please no. You're joking. I couldn't move it at all. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not redoing all of that. Oh my god. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slave. Jesus Christ. Don't tell me it's gonna win. It's actually so close. No. No, please. You're joking. You, no! It died afterwards? Are you... That's disgusting. Why is Spider Spit so overpowered? Uh... Take take me back to the rampant mod where you don't have to deal with that super slowing bite of spit. Holy crap. And they all came at once, like like several minutes later. It wasn't even overconfidence, they practically teleported on top of it. Oh my god, where are we? Do I not even have those turrets and stuff? Could have saved. I can't believe you've done this. That mean we get to refuel the train again? <laughs> How dare you. Did I load everything in here already? Uh, not really. Uh, I should go get those ingots. I, I'm not even... I'm not joking or exaggerating when I say the vanilla bite -a spit that slows everything down, it's way more overpowered than anything in Rampant. Nuke biters? Fine. I don't care. Just send them at me. Just don't... Don't slow my speed down to practically zero while putting an area of effect under my feet. That's gross. It's very unpleasant to play against. Um, I was coming back for ingots. And... Is that it? There's no such thing as a cryonite ingot. I guess I could take some vulcanite and cryonite. It also disengages the jetpack. Yeah, one damage turns off the jetpack. There is an option, like a mod option, if you want to change that. I mean... The thing is, if the jetpack can't be disengaged, it's kind of OP. But they set it so that one scratch knocks you out of the sky. And, like, melee biters can hit you while you're flying. And... So on. Is that just about everything? What do I value more? Well, definitely not this stuff. Look at those modules. Seems good. Uh, did I really only get ten of these turrets? Well, the space elevator can't be lost. Because it's got a stack size of one. Oh, 
really. Laser, artillery, rocket, railgun. Um, give me another laser. Could you not fill my inventory with crap? Holy. Holy. That's. That's what I'm trying to take with me. There we go. Alright. Uh, we need a landing pad on Malvis again. I need to up my auto save rate. We found another probably useless location. It is called Essen. Essen. Send nudes? S and there we go. Copper. Quite large. Kind of far away. Timiga system. It's got all of the biters. Uh, maybe later. Let me just see how close it is to the interstellar map, though. Because that is not in the stats. And it is a very significant factor. Uh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's definitely a contender. Alright, now this landing pad. Launch on manual. Need more power for those lasers? Yeah. I thought, oh, okay, we've got uh, not that much power up here. I'll just turn this one off. And then, like, I mean, they should have attacked the moment that the lasers hit them. And they did. And then two minutes later, there were just 600,000 biters all at once. Uh, after I thought the attack was finished. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd been using Rampant as well when I was back on Nalvis. Um, the biters were much more threatening in a lot of ways, but they didn't have that BS overpowered spit that doesn't let you move at all. Um, and I got used to being able to get away from them, unless I was actually dead. All right, let's go. Why not pair the lasers with railgun turrets? I was just testing them, literally. Like, that wasn't supposed to be a big deal. At least we might find out why this... Uh, why this is busted. Oh, because the constant combinator got destroyed. We can still see the wire, so if we have alt mode on, it's very hard to see that the constant combinator is not actually there. Well, there's your, uh, there's your problem. Okay. Um, let's go have a peek at that. I'll take some more repair packs. I think they're down here somewhere. I'm surprised I even remember that. It's been such a long time since we were here. Yeah, they, the media's actually like assassinated my rail system here. That was a precision shot killing the Combinator, which I'm not carrying. Um, that would probably help. Like, if you were to... Where's my combinators? There we go. 
Uh, if you were to name one thing you could destroy that would mess up the whole rail system. Preventing the trains from being refueled by killing one entity. Like if they'd somehow destroyed this piece of rail or maybe this signal or this signal because the train couldn't get out. Um, that would have the same effect. There's not a whole lot of places where you could destroy just one entity and murder the entire rail system like that. That's kind of impressive, honestly. Alright, let's go refuel that damn train again. I'm extremely unimpressed with the fuel inefficiency of that tank. My goodness. Uh, the rest... I mean, the power armor that we put in it uh, seems okay. Then save, yeah. Uh, nothing bad happened. There we go. Alright, um, we actually do have electricity down here properly. So I would like to play around with the laser turrets down there. I kind of... I guess I should set up the ammo production sooner rather than later, even though we're going to have a resource shortage for a while down here. Can I just do it in the autocrafter? Of which we have exactly one machine. Epic. Um, how about this? Railgun ammo. And I want lots of it. And the other ammo was rockets, right? I think the... If I, if I remember correctly, the rocket turret actually uses... Not regular rockets. Explosive... It has to be specifically turret rockets. These aren't your grandma's personnel rockets. Okay, so... Explosive turret rocket, nuclear turret rocket. Why would you want to put nuke rockets on this thing? Good grief. It doesn't have that kind of range. Uh, I guess we're going for the explosive ones. Which is it going to finish first? The railguns. We can make a hundred handcrafted. They're really not that difficult to make. What's the damage difference like if we... It looks like the explosive ones are strictly better. Range, piercing power are the same. Damage for the initial explosion is the same. Secondary damage is just bigger. In every sense of the word. Um, okay. Gun explosive. And then I think we'll stick with the regular explosive rockets, assuming we can make them. Uh, and we needed, I believe it was anti material ammo for the tank. Anti-material rifle ammo for the heavy machine gun. That's terrifying. Railgun ammo. And sniper railgun. Okay. I wonder if it auto-aims or if I have to, like, keep switching between them, like the old tank. I'm shocked at how well that tank survived for a while. I'm doubly... I couldn't I definitely couldn't have called it that the tank would die seconds later to damage over time from the spit. 
after it killed every biter, though. That's, um... That's definitely not something I could have predicted with confidence. Did we already have somewhere that we make the anti-material rifle ammo? Is it an upgrade or no, we do it from scratch? Steel and iron and copper and coal. And if we add uranium, we can skip the steel to make the top tier. I don't think we have uranium here, not really. Oh, we do. That's more than I thought. Uh, that wouldn't be in the robot network, would it? No. Okay, here's what we'll do. Extend the robot network down here like the lazy, lazy engineer that we are. But that doesn't drag. I never actually tried it before. And... I guess I don't have any regular assemblies on me at the moment. Uranium anti-material rifle ammo. Uh, inserters. And storage. I'll need to request a chest. Did we even automate request a chest back here? Probably. So that should all be part of the robot network, is what I would say if there was one over here somewhere. Will do, I guess. And then we need to produce a uh, regular ammo as well. Come to think of it, I should really just upgrade this to be like a passive provider or something. So that we can empty it and keep getting uranium. But I think the 20k that we've got accumulated here will probably be enough for our purposes for now. We're already out of advanced circuits? No, we're out of green circuits. We're out of copper. Uh, where do we get our copper from? An empty copper mine. Hmm. Well, I have 50 copper ingots here. Didn't really think I'd need them that urgently. The plate. Uh, I'm not carrying inserters right now. Yes, that'll do for the minute. I've actually got ingots over here. Oh, that's a lot. That's a that's a lot of copper that's just reserved for going to Hagen, that... where we're not having copper troubles. Um, maybe I should request copper plate somewhere and break it down. Poor Nalvis is a bit broken? Yeah. I didn't want to ever come back here, almost. But we're here. That's, uh, that's four million copper. Let's grab it. B. 
pasting the bloody trees. Okay. This will be easier. Let me just grab whatever from the... You know what? Let the bots bring me what they can. Might be a bit easier. How much ammo did we make? Actually, that should probably just be the explosive stuff. We made 68, that's not a whole lot. And rockets aren't going to get made until... Until that one gets done, unless I switch it off. Do I have some red circuits? Yeah, we go. Okay, give me my tank back. Very, very, very slowly. Fantastic. Uh, what else? Probably nothing. We're actually pretty well equipped for the moment. Uh, what was I going to do? Make a mine. I don't think we had the big drills here before. Oh yeah, I remember. Making... We never actually updated this here. Big... Mining drill. But there's no big electric motors. Tragic. Look at all this mess. Oh, I never actually finished that part. We actually do have the big drills. That's something at least. I mean, the big, big electric motors. Well, for now I'll just take the ones I already have, uh, which are already here. Fantastic. I don't have a construction train on Nalvis. That's definitely something that I have to fix before we go. Snack. We found Snack. Should we tread on Snack? 9,000 radius, lots of biters, rare metals. Um, it's not that far from Nalvis, kind of. I'm more interested in the long term. It's in the Argus system. Here it is. It's pretty close to the interstellar map. That's a prime candidate for late game. Um, when we can basically teleport through space and the distance to the interstellar map is what matters the most. Huge radius, rare metals. Uh, we can probably have just one planet giving us rare metals with that. Potentially. Need a lot of rail? Uh, true. I'll just go get the actual drills built first. It's not that far away. Did I not bring the bulk rail loaders? I did. Fantastic. Alright, wire, connect. Why are you like this? Why? There we go. Uh, no, I need, like... Wait, 49? Did I not bring two stacks of drills? Yeah, what the hell? Robots? Why are they not placing this? Don't tell me I've got a bunch of bots crawling back to me, that's why. Uh... 
Okay, so all of that needs to be connected so that we can automatically drop the request threshold once the whole mine is empty. You know what? Just, just go for it. have enough red belt. Nope. I wasn't expecting to. Can we perhaps cut down on the amount we need? That could probably just be red. And then we're one red belt short. Truly? Uh, and then we need, like, when 265 prod modules. I wasn't coming here planning to build mines, but I guess it's a good thing I brought as many as I did. Uh, let's just do the old lazy... Oh, I can't go through that. How dare you. It's been a while since I had to mess with this creep stuff. Wasn't there a way to deal with it from the navsat? But I think it left it on the ground. No reachable creep in selection. Was it market for deconstruction? I think there was a reason why I had to have a... some entity in there. Yeah, and then we can just... No? Hmm. I could have sworn I figured out some trick to allow... Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of remember this. Um, we would get rid of the creep, but it would be left on the ground. but we can at least pick up the stuff that's in the way. Uh, and how much rail are we missing here? About less than two stacks. Easy peasy. I can probably handcraft it, but I'm not... Yeah, I could, actually. Uh... I could almost handcraft it. If I pick up some more stone, I could handcraft it. Yeah, we can do that. But I have to go back for the prod modules anyway, so what's the point? bottlenecking on the handcrafting. Let's just go get the mods. And I think I'd better take a little hydration break here. Activity modules and some beacon would be a good idea. Oh no. Oh no, this is the timeline where I don't have 25 white area beacons. 
Alright. I'm not planning to do a whole lot here on this trip anyway. It's probably fine. Uh, I should also have some more rail. Give to me... That'll be enough this time, actually. Directional. I'll actually do it already. As long as we don't mind having only one train up here at a time. Which, for our purposes, I think is probably fine. Alright, where are we going to fit our beacon anyway? Maybe I'll just not bother with it. Just barely touch all of that with a single wide area beacon. Very cool. Really? I do not like the Zerg creep. Alright, does this thing have power? Auto save, fantastic. Uh, it's only 18.3 per second, but more to the point, it's 3.9 mil copper before we're back down to just the core fragment uh, copper. Seems good. That's how you leave it on the ground. Satellite view creep collection creep. Didn't I just try that? Is the station powered? It is. Oh, what? Oh, that's just the decider combinator. Um, that's not actually going to affect anything until... Uh, until we want it to automatically recognize that there's no more copper. But that's... oh my goodness. Oh no. Please. That said, maybe we can fit it all under one of these still. Yeah, we can. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that wouldn't have mattered until we're out of copper. The constant combinator doesn't actually require electricity, nor does the logistic train stop. Should give it a name, though. Copper... Pick up. Are we starting to potentially get ammo over here? Doesn't seem like it. Should have brought some. Oh. You're joking. I thought we... oh no. That's not a very good reason to not be producing media defense ammo. Apparently this stack inserter was turned the wrong way and I forgot about it. And we don't even have that much of a resource, uh, resource shortage yet. Oh well. Let's go play with the laser. And the tank. Uh, but I'm kind of waiting on a bit more ammo for the tank. To play with it properly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's one little step I forgot. We need to make... Uh, anti-material rifle ammo. somewhere or other. I bet if I put it in the auto crafter... Uh, 
it'll actually get done. It only needs copper, iron, and coal, right? So that should flick over in a few seconds or so. Alright. Laser... Artillery... Turret? times one. One is probably more than enough, I think. Is it actually out of range? Huh. Okay, that is not a whole lot of range. I mean, it's decent for keeping the biters from being so close to your walls that they'll attack very, very frequently. And I guess it could soften up uh, biters that are coming to attack already. But I am a little... Not very, I'm a little disappointed in the range on this thing. Let's grab our tank. Can we upgrade the assembly machine to zoom it? Uh, I could give it some modules, if that's what you mean. Oh, it's already speed twos. Yeah, this will be fine. By the time I come back, uh, we're going to have probably quite a bit of anti-material rifle ammo. Actually, I don't really see a reason to limit it. Let's just go. Well, if we're not in range to use the laser artillery, though, and I'd have to run power cables up here to play with it over here, we've kind of seen what it can do, though. Hmm... Turret creep. Let's go. What's the worst that could happen? And this time I'll actually pilot to tank. Laser artillery turret times four. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, holy crap. They're actually really good at killing biters directly. Um, I take back everything I said about it being a disappointment. It, it's less good as artillery than I hoped, but... As a direct weapon, it's very, very good. Um, I don't, I don't see myself needing to be in the tank with this. I should have brought more pylons. Because we could just, I, I think we could just turret creep the whole world. Uh, why don't I use a substation pylon? And just put them all down. Hold nothing back. Can we do a symmetrical pattern of some kind though? We've got ten. I'm thinking probably not. How about eight? And make it ten. Oh god, that sound. Oh no. I'm not a fan of that sound. Why does it do that? Our accumulators are almost empty already. But the biters are dead already. I don't think we need ten lasers like this. Let's just stick with like four. Doop-a-doop. 
Termina. Actually, while I have a peek at that, let me put these turrets back down, just in case. Termina. Well, those are neat. I'll have to try them, indeed. Uh, why is it red? It is rare metals. It's a moon. Very, very small. Waterless. Uh, pretty far. I can't imagine we'd ever bother with that. Doesn't have a pyramid or anything. It's not a planet. Okay. Let's continue. Where are we going? If I'm only going to do four, I should just do them around a lighted pylon. I've actually got 20 of these. Good to know. Copy paste. I just wish it wouldn't make that sound sometimes when it glitches out. That is completely insane. That is turret creep, alright. In fact, I could just do it like this. Five times. Should probably wait till our accumulator charge recovers a bit more. What's the minimum consumption? 50 megawatt? Holy crap. Nope. 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 Um, I think just one of these turrets will be fine, actually. Hello, friends. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, no. Uh, give it all back, please, except for the fuel. No, don't spit on my laser turret! Yes, follow me. Exactly. I do need to keep close to the turret because of its minimum range. I think that sound means it's out of power. Oh, it's really out of power. Alright. Let's head back for now. I don't know if it's worth having the sniper as well as the SMG, because they just get themselves in range um, a moment after the sniper does its thing. Death Spiral, indeed. Maloxyl, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Like how it uses one gigawatt for all ten, indeed. It's very thirsty, but it's very, very effective. I just wish the tank didn't take 600,000 years to pick up. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Oh, well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, that's all. Almost. Give back my pylons. Okay. I don't know if turret creep with the lasers is going to be as effective as I was hoping for. Maybe power armor would still be the way to go. Or maybe I should just not worry about clearing the biters until I have pile drivers or something. Pile driver needs... You're joking. We could already be using pile drivers? Um, okay. I mean, the material cost 
10 heavy girders each. That's a lot less than it used to be. Yeah, as I recall, they buffed these and nerfed the nuclear ones, material cost-wise. Um, but wow, I did not realize that I could just casually research delivery cannon at this point. Pick it up with drones? Uh, I don't think that works with a vehicle. No. Let's destroy some planets. Um... So our Iridium flow is obviously not that great at this stage, but just casually, automatically clearing Nalvis, even if it takes a long time, I would be a big fan of that, as well as uh, automatically clearing the last two um, worms that we've got on this or that planet. I think we still haven't... Oh, I think we have confirmed hostile extinction here. Okay. But Gibble... Gibble... Uh, we tried. We've looked and we've looked and we've looked for like the two worms that are left on this planet somewhere. I have not been able to find them. But a pile driver would sort that problem out in a couple of minutes. If that. Time to build that weapon platform. Indeed. Indeed it is. Uh, but yeah, for the scale, like clearing Nalvis, it's going to take some time. Um... It's really going to take some time. A lot of resources. But I could do it AFK. And then I would not have to spend time on it directly. Okay. Uh, where's our ammo? I want to try the tank properly. I also kind of want to try the rocket turrets. I don't think the railgun turrets are going to be as exciting as we might imagine. Spell evader with power from above with some lasers and artillery sounds like something useful to have in the blueprint book. Um, I think I'd rather get to the point where we don't need any lasers. Or are you talking about if we're in orbit around a hostile planet and getting started? No, I think I'd rather just clear the planet um, before we build, generally. We do have a lot of artillery shells here. Oh, that's right, I remember I was... Because um... they stack so much higher with K2. I was actually doing turret creep with the artillery. That makes a ton of sense. What was the other thing I was doing? Uh, we got plenty of railgun shells. How much of this ammo are we trying to make? Only a hundred. So it's all just getting taken. Uh, well, I could speed it up a bit more. Plus 120% speed becomes... Plus 160 percent. It's not that much, but it'll help. I should really have a dedicated machine for this. Um, why don't I just do that? Since requester chests are not precious cargo these days. that from here. Uh, and we also researched, we found another moon, Dionysus. It is kind of far. It's 
in the Hermione system. It is pretty damn small. Vulcanite, waterless. It's got the biters. Where is Hermione again? I thought it was closer. It's like 80k Delta V. Did I misread it? Planet... Oh, Planet Hermione. In the Tanius system. Here it is. There's Hermione. There's... It's actually very, very close to the interstellar map. But the radius is terrible. I don't think we'd pick that one for late game. Still missing advanced circuits. Because we're still missing green circuits. Because we're still missing copper. I thought we fixed that. Or is it just not that fast? We are smelting copper with no productivity bonus. And no beacon. We can do something about that. up here actually. Make media defense assembly machine a tier 3. Uh, that's really not needed. It's not often that we have to shoot down medias. Sure it's got some catching up to do but even even with that in consideration I'm not that worried. Alright. Brought it up. And... Actually, the 10 megawatts from... The 10 megawatts from a wide area beacon is nothing to sneeze at on this planet. Now that I think about it. Oh. And it's already empty. Maybe I won't bother with that. Oh no, my anti-pollution thing got destroyed. How rude. Why do I even make those? Air purifier. This is making me realize how old this playthrough is. Okay. What am I doing? I gave Copper some productivity bonus. Uh, I could arrange... Well, how about this? We're probably prioritizing Copper ingots over... Up a plate directly. We should definitely prod bonus this. Especially as the enriched is just running out. I think I'm out of prod bonuses, uh, prod modules already. Yep. I guess that. Wait, no. It's not on the whole planet I'm out. Is it? Kind of close, actually. Well, since copper is the problem, I may as well. Back we go. Send a rock? Nah. Let's have a look up here. We don't have that many prod modules back on Hagen that we want to prod module everything on Nalvis either. Prod 
probably help if I had chemical plants in here. Fantastic. Up is already on the way from coal mining, actually. So hopefully one day we'll actually see copper back here. Is it getting prioritized that it's sent to Hagen or... Nope, it's just equal priority. I should probably make a drop off for copper ingots to go into the main bus. Um, that's supposed to be copper plate, right? Yes. Yes, it is. I could put filters on this. Copper plate. And we could request ingots as well. which are already on their way. And then we could just... Uh, turn ingots into plate. Just like that. Probably a stack inserter for the output. I'm not used to my trains not being insanely fast anymore. Alright, how's our ammo looking? Oh, shockingly bad? No, 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 it fills up on this end first. That's actually pretty good. Already. Except we're completely out of green circuits to make more. But that's why the copper train is coming. Cool. Maybe I should speed it up a bit. Can we even fit? Yeah, we can. I'll just give it some speeds. That's almost saturating the two red belts. Why do we have no power? What? What just happened? Laser turrets? Uh oh. No? Did I miss it? There was a spike from laser turrets, and it is at night time. No wait, that was 15 minutes ago. Okay, this was half a minute ago. That was not a big spike though. Where are we getting attacked, I wonder? Well, it pretty much has to be down here, right? Unless it's here? I don't see any corpsicles. Uh, very confused. Very, very confused right now. Also, our electricity is looking very bad. I'm definitely not... Oh, right. 2.5 megawatt each. That might have something to do with it. Yeah, because we didn't have any modules when we built all this. Not really. Okay, 
Do we have some more solar panels lying around? Uh, we've definitely got a few. That'll help at least. Maybe a nuclear reactor wouldn't be the worst idea. We didn't have cover eggs earlier, which is why I didn't set this up properly. Uh, more to the point. Do we have any more of this ammo? Not really. Let's just use the regular railgun shells. Give it a try. Laser artillery drained your accumulators. I think you're out of spare power capacity. Uh, I don't think it would have taken that long to recover, though. If we had enough. Probably. Possibly. Maybe I should do a biomethanol build here. We've got space. We've got plenty of space. It's a bit of a pain to set it up though. Uh, but yeah, let's grab that ammo and give the tank a try with some actual weapons. Where the hell am I? There we go. Check power graphs and see what caused the browner. Well, I saw the power... I saw the lasers spike. That's about it. Oh, this is production. Power... Uh, everything just crashed. Yeah, it's the big drills. Look at look at how much power that is. The industrial furnaces and big drills, since I gave them prod modules. We just don't have enough to keep up with it. 2.5. This is 10 megawatt right here. So I guess a wide area beacon would be good, actually. get it down to minimum power consumption. I mean, minimum plus 10 megawatt. But for the moment, that's quite good, actually. Negative 80%. Fantastic. And we'll do the same thing for copper ingots, I think. And now our accumulator charge is gaining a bit quicker. How hard would nuclear be? Uh, the build itself, not that hard, but I would have to set up the whole uranium processing, which isn't that... Ooh, weapon delivery cannons, let's go. Uh, let's see... Weapon delivery cannon needs some stuff we've already got here. I probably don't even have to add anything special here. Let's find out. We probably don't need to make 10 at a time. Uh, and what about the capsule? Probably also doable. I might do a dedicated build for this sooner or later, but right now I just want to see it work. Oh no, the inserters. Oh no, we have to put hundreds of different things in and the inserters are going to build it in the wrong order. And then it's going to potentially change recipe. Okay, we're lucky this time. Uh, Iridium plate, is that not here? Surprisingly, no. Iridium plate. 
fantastic. Uh, and then the actual pile driver. Wait, what? I thought we needed... We definitely need these as a component, right? Weapon delivery capsule. And depending on what we combine it with, it makes uh, atomic bomb. Just add atomic bomb. Heavy girder times 10, one rocket control unit, and five explosives makes a pile driver. And we can also use it to deliver a plague rocket. But for now, I think pile driver would be the way to go. Here it is. Stack size one, really? That is not what I was expecting. All right, weapon delivery cannon. Uh, we're gonna need. You know what? You're not being used. Let's let's make a pile driver. Wait, how do we make it? It is made in... Oh, it's made in the... The weapon delivery cannon itself. Okay. We select the recipe here. Uh, and which was that planet we wanted to clear? Gibil. Let's do it. Gibil. Uh, automatic retargeting. I hope it... I hope I st don't still have to waste one shot to get it to start shooting automatically. That's a big boy cannon, indeed. Indeed it is. Okay, here it comes. Just set the location once. Yeah, but that means it has to waste a shot if I can't find a target for it. Which, the whole reason we're using it is because I can't find a target. Oh, no, that was the red spot from my own dev set. Fool me once. One shot, wow, that would break any factory. It's just wasteful, I don't like it. I don't like waste. Alright, fine, we'll waste a shot. Um, payload, empty, on, automatic retargeting. I don't suppose I could set a location. Uh, press N to exit satellite. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. Here we go. Uh... No, it's it's gonna waste a shot. Holy crap! I didn't know it could double fire like that. Alright, well, I don't know where exactly that went, but I saw a handful of worms. Uh, and there is a... There is a shot headed for it. Beautiful. So now we get five shots out of one stack of heavy girders. That is a lot better than when we got one shot out of a stack of heavy girders. I can't believe how many worms we missed. What the hell? 
Bruh. Does it not reveal an area like it did before? So you can spot where it's firing? There's so many. There's just something satisfying about using the weapon delivery cannon, indeed. Uh, I should warn you that it does miss sometimes. So... By firing this thing at Gibil, we're actually risking taking a significant chunk out of these solar panels or something critical. Um, but considering the area that we've got um, and how few enemies we need to finish off, probably, I think, uh, I, I think the risk is pretty acceptable. Thought they fixed that a couple of months ago. I don't. I didn't think it was a bug. I thought it was like a drawback of using the thing. Oh, you didn't actually kill these guys last time. Dardano, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I shot about a thousand nukes from space onto Nalvis. So far they haven't missed and destroyed anything of mine. It's intended? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, uh, I don't know how long it's going to take because I thought there were like two worms left, but pretty soon we'll be getting a message uh, that there's nothing left to target on Gibbel. Is it night time? Oh, it's very much night time. It doesn't look like it because we've got the the light sources. But yeah, it's completely night time. And our accumulator charge is getting alarmingly low. Maybe I'm mixing that and the energy glaive? Uh, the energy glaive just sort of cracks things. They updated it so it jumps across targets, though, as well. Okay, I think we're actually just barely going to make it through the night. Last night, the accumulators crashed. This time, it looks like we're okay. Pro possibly? Why did it spike just there? Oh, are we actually... Are the delivery cannons working? Is that why? Yeah, that's... We've barely used the delivery cannons at all until recently. I don't think that's why power crashed or didn't, though. Yeah, we're still not quite getting through the night like this. How's our main base with the copper, though? Oh, wow. Holy. Okay, I was not expecting to go from zero to saturated in one peak. Um, maybe I should have? Because we have all these copper ingots. Uh, we had or have all these copper ingots just lying around here. And now I'm finally taking advantage of them. Um, but wow. That is... That is a very dramatic change. Looks like main bus is back on the menu. Fantastic. And we've got uh, about 4 million copper before it slows down to just being core fragments again. Come to think of it, that is where I should prod. But before I get carried away with prods that I probably don't even have, we need more power. Don't you have a steam battery on the planet? I do, but it must have emptied by now. Or no, it, I've got the steam battery set up to only support the umbrella. That's deliberate. Although it does seem to be... Electricity right 
now. Huh, why is that disconnected? There is some loss when we convert electricity to steam and back. So I don't want to see those steam turbines running for no reason. Should just put down some more solar panels. I think we're pretty much good for now. That's actually... yeah, that's fine. Not quite reach there. Oh, the ratio is a bit different here. Ah, uh, close enough, I imagine. Okay, what should we do next? Oh yeah, I still haven't played with the tank properly. Let's get the ammo. I've already got some uranium ammo. The machine gun. Um, I should probably put my power armor on so I have... Well, I'm just realizing I took the laser from it before. I guess I could update this. We need advanced circuit steel copper plate. Advanced circuits are finally playing catch up. Fantastic. Steel and copper plate. Nice. And I believe there's only a couple of uranium fuel cells down here. Because I didn't actually give it a container. Did we get any of the fancier ammo yet? We did not. I didn't even take this yet. I should just set this to like 100. Because we're just trying to convert it to the explosive kind anyway. We're still bottlenecking on... Oh, I see. That circuit should be at least one stack available to the robot network. Don't really have room to fix it over there, but that's probably fine. Wait, what? Oh, greater than. There we go. There we go. Oops, wrong button. Let's upgrade this. We have tier threes. I imagine we do. Uh, no. What do tier threes need? Nothing we don't have. Let's make some. give it some productivity. But I don't want to spend my precious prod freeze on this. Not right now. Oh, I need to wait. Um, I didn't actually bring my assembly threes for the most part. Oh no. What's going on here? 
Why is it asking for burner when there's no burner? It should be trying to make the burner. Oh, now it is. But there's no iron? Uh, okay. Why is there no iron? There should be plenty of iron. There is plenty of iron. Sudden. Let's give it some prog twos, as we said. And that'll make our resources go a fair bit further. I'm pretty sure prog twos are automated here. I could be wrong though. something at least. This is exactly what I was afraid would happen if I came back to Nalvis. I'm getting pulled down the rabbit holes. Uh, we wanted red circuits because we wanted... Yeah, these explosive railgun shells. Why don't I just build system for making these directly. Let's power over here. Uh, quest a chest. from buffers. And the bots are taking their sweet time. Where did all of the railgun shells go? Didn't we have like hundreds? Are they in here? Yeah, they are. Okay. We can auto prog ones, that's something at least. Alright. That's more like it. These things take a while to make, though. Hmm. How much power do we have to spare? Zero, basically.
let's go for... You know what, maybe I should compare the railgun shells to the explosive railgun shells. That'll kill some time while we're building more. And I think I should connect these power networks. Let's go do that with... Oh my goodness, what? Why did it jump my view over wherever that was? Uh, let's do that with the pylons, or maybe just a whole lot of big poles, I guess. Uh, I am going to want to trim this back eventually. It'll be easier if I put down fewer entities. And so we've got them connected up there already. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it put the pylon in the water for a minute there. That's not what happened. Should be going this way. Here we go. Okay, so that's our entire power network connected. That'll be a little bit better on both ends. And let's try out our tank over here. Carefully. Um, didn't mean to do that. Does this take... All three of them take either type of railgun shell. Fast railgun A, fast railgun B, sniper railgun. So, does it like auto fire or something? Oh, here it is. I, I have to just switch between these like a regular weapon slash tank. It looks like. Are you winning some? I don't know. Kind of. Boggles. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, sniper railgun. Has at least as much range as I would certainly hope it does. Pretty much as far as we can see zoomed out. I guess that's about what I expected. Fast railgun... ...is faster. Doesn't seem to have much that much of a range disadvantage. How about the auto gun? Oh wow. It's annoyingly loud, but more powerful than I expected. That's not too bad. I'm not overwhelmed by the power of this tank, but it's decent. Tanks a lot, indeed. Uh, so can I actually reach here with the not-sniper railgun? Seems like it. Those are some pinchy looking critters. Yeah, they do a lot of damage. If they can reach you, which they can. Oh god, oh no. Okay. What type of behemoth? Alright, we're fine. Honestly, it's not as great as I was hoping for. We still have to be very, very careful against evolved biters. I 
It doesn't have self-repair, does it? I didn't see my bots jumping out. I want to let Pinchy get us down just a tiny bit. Ah. Uh. Just want a little bit of hole damage. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was our bots repairing this. I just didn't even see them jump out and do it. They don't seem to be repairing it now. Oh, now you... Okay. I see how it is. Napoleon Bonaparte? Thank you for the follow. Oh, wait. My scroll thing was wrong. I thought that was familiar. Uh, Pink Abbey, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This calls for the nuclear option. We'll get there. It was the shield? I thought they got through the shield a little bit, though. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like this. Nope. Nope. No, thank you. I am a little sad at just how much power it takes to support um, personal lasers. I mean, I could be wearing more personal lasers to boost this as well. But to think it would take, like, all of this just to support one... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, to think it would take all of this to support one SMG, one sniper, and a couple of shields seems a little excessive. They just want a hug? I see, I see. A snappy hug? Yeah, I don't think I'm killing this with a tank in any reasonable time frame. It's death the shields? Yeah, but I thought they cut through it more than that. Have you researched max laser damage? Um, yes. No. This is laser shooting speed. Laser damage, 1500. For another 40%. Well, that's not nothing. 40% of base, though. That's kind of expensive. 4,800 energy, too. That's kind of a lot. At this stage. Uh, I think I'd rather use the pile drivers, honestly. Yeah. Uh, haven't tried the impulse cannon, obviously. Might be a bit better, but I'm not expecting too much, honestly. Have you tried the actual tank gun? Yes. That's, that's the one with the, the rail gun. It's not good enough for killing the biters as they come at you. Impulse gun is disgusting. It better be if I have to use emicide. Okay, that's not great. That one is fast. Leviathan Snapper. I thought it said Sprinter. I would believe it. Yeah, it's just too much the insane spawn rate of enemies near the bases. All we can do is kill a couple of spawners and then run away every time. 
probably be better off with just my jetpack and the heavy rocket launcher. Basically a semi-auto railgun? Jeez. Okay. I don't suppose laser artillery turret would reach here. Not quite. Holy crap, that scared me. I was not expecting the laser sniping. That is damn effective, though. Extremely power costly. But what do you want? Yeah, I think, uh, I think a little power, uh, turret creep is in order. How's our power doing? It is the middle of the day, we have half of our charge. It's actually holding steady. This is a lot more effective to say the least, if we can keep it up. Oh my- You're joking! I forgot about how even if you're flying, your attacks hit trees or rocks. Wait, how am I going to get there? Oh no. No, 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 no. Please tell me there's a spare suit lying around. There actually is. Um, the heavy rocket launcher's firing rate is shockingly fast as well. Where even is this suit? I need it now. My goodness. Filter inserter. Today, please. Thank you. Suit. There we go. Um, you will of some kind would be good. It's not in here, I don't think. Uh, I know there's some over here. Oh, it let me do a tiny little jump. That's actually disgusting how quickly that killed me. Yeah, I didn't remember that it would just, even if you're flying, it would hit a tree that you'd think would be under you. Uh, and it fired two shots about ten times quicker than I thought the heavy rocket launcher would be capable of. So I literally just pressed space and died. Um, didn't even... Didn't even realize I was dead. I saw one explosion and thought, oh... Uh, a rocket blew up in my face. That is unfortunate. Oh. Oh. Have fun getting your corpse back. Good thing we were trying to use a long-range weapon. I might need the tank, even. It is horrifically close to the Biden nest, actually. Where even is my corpse? There it is. At least we've got some cover from the artillery. That might help.
he spat at me. That's so rude. Okay. Can we try that again without the self-explosion? How much range does this have? A lot. And the biters get very agitated. And power must be looking terrible by now. Yep. Let's get out of here. Let's be gone. Oh yeah, I kind of wanted to try the rocket turret and railgun. Well, I'm curious. Does the railgun turret, like, destroy everything through here? Or I guess we're about to find out. Are they going to come up this far? God damn it. Could you... Could you... Follow me, please. No. Okay, bots are gonna commit suicide. That is not fantastic. Incoming satisfaction? What? I didn't even get to see if the um, railgun tower would destroy things in front of it. Like, friendly things. That's not quite what I wanted. There we go. Uh, what can I build in front of it that's, like, kind of disposable? I want some walls. Is the main thing. I guess I could steal some from here. Repair that wall as well. Somewhat. Now we just have to... Where the hell are my walls? Oh. Um, aggro a couple of biters. Not too many, though. Okay, that's more than I wanted. Okay. They just kind of disappear. That's definitely not what I had in mind. Okay. Flamethrower might be better. There we go. Uh, I don't think the railgun turrets hit your own stuff, though. That doesn't seem to be the case. It does. Ha they do have minimum range, though. Gotta watch out for that. All of these turrets, I believe, have minimum range. Oh, the rocket turrets! Oh, do you actually have to rotate them manually? Interesting. Switching on turret range visual might help, indeed. Yeah, I'm guessing they don't automatically turn around if the range indicator looks like that. Unfortunately, the range indicator only really shows up on the map, unless you switch to uh, the map view and zoom in. Doesn't show up if you're in the nav view either. But uh, yeah, do we have any more targets on... When did this happen? Oh, we're spamming satellites again. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Satellite. Oh, we do get... telemetry data out of it, though, right? That's why we're doing it. 
Yeah, that's probably fine. What was I thinking before I got distracted? Oh yeah, I wanted to see if we've got extinction on Gibble. You've confirmed your conquest of Gibbel is complete. I was looking for the message up here that says the uh, weapon delivery cannon could not find any enemies. There it is. Uh, and if you have a lot of these things, sometimes it'll lag. Uh, it'll basically freeze the game for a little while once you clear a planet and they all look for enemies. Array for global domination, indeed. Let's try Nalvis. Uh, some of you are telling me that the weapon delivery cannon doesn't miss anymore. I guess we're going to find out. Wait, if it... Oh, no. If it's going to shoot, like, here and kill three spawners and leave these ones damaged, and then pick another target completely at random, um, it's not going to be the most efficient. Maybe I'll just let it do its thing and we won't reveal too much of Nalvis all at once. Might not be too bad that way. I know in point 0.5 it was totally hitting my stuff before. I've got like 10 of them in point 0.6 and haven't noticed my stuff being destroyed. Found out the hard way that too many weapon delivery cannons on automatic will kill your power grid. <laughs> yes, yes it will. Oh. Oh, it's finding targets outside of the... Outside of the explored area. Okay. We might end up with all of Nalvis explored eventually. If we leave this thing running like that. But... I think I don't really mind, to be honest. We've got fighter expansion turned off. So I'd rather have it slowly chipping away at the biters on Nalvis than not. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for today. Let's find someone to raid. Who is streaming Factorio? Maki, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Uh, I was actually just wrapping up for today. King Fnurb, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I was literally potentially just about to raid you, but um, I guess it'll be someone else. When I refresh, it still shows you streaming, actually. I don't see... Oh, I do see one person playing two... I see a couple of people playing SE. Two hours more now? I've been sick. I don't think I can keep it up today. I've also got things I need to do, unfortunately. Uh, let me have a peek at this one. Space Exploration Stargate Victory. Sounds good. Starting the Mega Base. Tool Belt 5. They're currently clearing fighters. More of that. Yeah, I heard sort of, but I thought you could be enticed in a little longer. Uh, on any other week, yes. Yes, I could. But I'm, I'm not feeling that great, and I have a whole lot of stuff I have to do tomorrow. 
Uh, so thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything by all means. And uh, I'll just double check. Yeah, tomorrow we'll be continuing with For the Worthy Terraria. Till then, take care. Take care, Cyclo. Thanks. killing these dudes. Also my 